Hello everybody, my name is Luchara and this is Old World. This is a 4X game, uh, similar to Civilization, but it also has some, uh, some similarities to a Paradox game like Crusader Kings or uh, Europa Urner, was it Universalis I think it's called, EU, EU4. Um, so we're playing as Rome. Um, I guess I should have showed what bonuses they get, so the... Romans uh, get some military bonuses, essentially. Um, so this is the where I, where I came in. So there's there's two wheat here. We got wheat here and wheat here. We got barley here, barley here, and barley here. So that we're gonna have a lot of food and a lot of growth. We also got some horses here, but and there's some hills here for some iron. Um, not really anywhere good for marble. I guess right here will be okay for marble. Because marble is better next to mountains. You get more marble. This is a pretty solid capital. Um, so the way it works, um, it's a little different than Sib. You can't just you can't just drop a settler anywhere in the world. You can only drop it on a city site. So any of these five tiles, I can make my city. And depending on which one I go on, I get slightly different hexes. So if I go here where I am, you can see the purple border around me, right? That's all the places I can build. Or that's all the places I can build improvements, all the tiles I have. Now, you can expand your borders. Um, and we'll talk about that, you know, when, when we get to it. And if we go here. So if we go here, we get this extra barley. And we lose. I mean, we're trading. Yeah, we're trading three, these three tiles for these, these two tiles and this tile. Um, if we go here pretty boring if we go there we get some extra hills see so yeah, if we go here and we get the extra barley but a fifth barley or a fifth farm i mean the two wheat and the two barley will be enough i feel so i think i might actually drop here um to get these two hills for iron i think is the play so let's move here and another thing that's different from civ and other 4x games is anytime you drop a city, uh, you have to assign one family to it. Um, so we have four different families, and they have different bonuses. So the um, Babius, hey Twisted, how are you doing today? Babius family gives extra, that little sealed is basically training, military production. Um, city defense, you can start with Steadfast. This, this is not the city for them. We definitely want to have them in our city in some of our cities but not this one this one we want the landowners we'll come back to the landowners in a sec so we can also do valerius which is plus two civics per year and plus two culture per year per specialist and if you're wondering what a specialist is we'll get there uh can hurry projects with money and so in the the other the things in the bottom the family seat and on seat founded so the first city you put that family in. You can put them in multiple cities, but the first city you put them in is their family seat. So, for example, Fabius, they get an extra bonus to uh, to training, and you also get a militia. The landowners is the one we want here because you get two growth per turn, one year's one turn, uh, minus 50% rural specialist production time, which we'll, we'll come up on, and plus two culture per year per crop resource. And the wheat and the barley are all crop resources. So that's so we'll have four right away. We'll eventually get this one before too long. So that's going to be a lot of extra culture. So we're definitely going to go here. We're definitely going to take landowners. This is a great capital for landowners. Um, and then we can pick a tech. So the way the tech works in this game, there is a tech tree, much like Civ and other ones. Um, but there's a deck. There's a deck of cards, essentially. Oh, uh, I guess I clicked the wrong button there. <laughs> but basically, so let's say there's eight available techs that you could possibly get because you've, you know, you have all the prerequisite techs. Um, you draw from a deck of cards that has all those techs. You pick which one you want. The rest of them go in a discard pile. So if you pass up on a tech, you don't get the chance to take it again until you've gone through your whole draw pile. Then it gets reshuffled. And then you have the chance to get it again. So if you pass on something, it, it could potentially be a while before you get it again. 
So we have two scouts, we have a warrior, and we have a worker. Um, so this game goes on something called the order system. Right now we have six orders. Um, we get 12 per turn. That's what the plus 12 means. There are lots of ways to get extra orders. Uh, we'll talk about them a little later. Um, and maybe I shouldn't be making this quite so beginner friendly. I did stream this the other day, but I want to keep it relatively beginner friendly. So the worker is our priority right now. So to move him here or anywhere, then this blue order is one would take one order. That's one move, right? To go here would be two orders, right? So we want to start getting some farms. I believe uh, the barley actually gives more food. Food isn't terribly important, but I mean, we it takes two orders to get to here or here. So let's go to the barley, and let's get a uh, let's get a farm going. So it'll be two growth, two culture, and fourteen food for this farm. It costs us twenty wood. So we have three hundred food. We have three hundred iron, three hundred stone, three hundred wood. You need these to build things. These are very important resources to have. Um, you can buy them if you need to. This little four means you can buy them for four and sell them for two. This price will fluctuate over time as you buy and sell. Um, so let's uh, yeah, let's build a farm. So that gives extra growth. Now, growth and food are different things. So let's uh, go. Let's go into our city for a minute here. So there's different things we can make. Um, we can make settler. We can make another worker. We're already working on a settler. We can make another worker. We can make a scout. We can make a militia. These things, uh, you need growth to make these. That's how, the more growth you have, the faster you can make these units. Um, military units, warrior and hastastus, which is like one of the Roman unique units. Um, so you need training to make these, which are these red shields, right? Which one of our families does give us extra of those, but not in the city because we didn't take them here. And then civics projects, these use civics to be made. So there's essentially three different types of production. So what I like to do is I like to specialize the city in one of them generally, especially your first couple of cities. So this city is gonna be gonna have crazy good growth, right? So we're hoping we can find a good training city within our for a second or maybe third city, right? So we can get some military early on. So we see there's a city site out here. So we're going to take one of our scouts and we're going to come out and we're going to see what we see here. So this might be an okay. Oh, and there's a, the, essentially a goody hut in civilization terms. So we're out of orders now. So we can't move our other scout. We can't move our warrior because we're out of orders. That's what the order system is all about. So we got to end our turn. Now we get fresh orders. We got 11 orders. Our workers building the farms. So we don't need to worry about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scout to get the uh, get the ruins, get the goody hut. Our explorers discover a cache of jewels hidden deep in the abandoned ruins. Their orders were to explore the lands. Would you rather they exploit this discovery instead? So keep the jewels, but continue exploring. Gives me 170 gold. The treasury would be grateful if we found more jewels. So we got to spend 100 training but we get way much more money. So let's do that. Training is nice. And we'll, once we get some military units going, we'll, we'll use training. But right now, money is better. Hey, one war gamer. Branching out of it. Yeah, I mean, I like to try to play different stuff. Generally. I was kind of stuck in the team fight manager rut for a while there. But definitely in a perfect world, I'd rather play a variety of games. So here we are. <laughs> This is definitely quite different from Team Fight Manager. All right, so we are the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? We'll just name it whatever it wants to be named. Plus two legitimacy. So legitimacy is this number here. The more legitimacy you have, the more orders you get, and the more uh, the higher the opinions of the families that you have in your cities is, which is nice. You want you want to have high legitimacy. Just looking. Okay, so that's all the fog. So that's it might be a decent um what I would really like in a perfect world. Oh hey Nosh. Hey Lee. One more gamer, you got an MRI tomorrow. I hope they find the problem. Hope you're doing better than me. I messed up both my shoulders in a freak home accident a few months back. Ouch. Yeah, no, I'm doing pretty well physically at least. I'm 
somewhat healthy, you know, a little overweight, but you know, that's kind of being an adult. And Lee says, I needed a break from Airborne Kingdom. What is Airborne Kingdom? Is that like the city builder where you're like in the sky? Maybe. I feel like I've heard of that, but I don't know off the top of my head what it is. All right, so God, I'm all out of breath because uh, I was I was out for her supper with my mother and my sister, and we ended up being there longer than we thought. And then I had to take my mother home, and so I ended up getting home way later. And I thought, and I was trying to rush to not, you know, to make sure I started stream on time. So I'm all out of breath. All right, so swordsman goes there. Let's move our scouts around. Let's see what we got by this season. So what we really want to see in a perfect world is this. This is what we want: iron. Iron, um, or ore, I guess it's called. So if we, um, how do we do this? Middle click. If you middle click, it holds the tool bar open. So if we put a mine here, we get plus two training, plus two shields, right? Which is what we want because we want a city that that can specialize in, in kicking out military units quick. So this is like ideal. That's like perfect. That's exactly what we were hoping to find. And it'll be a pretty good all-around city because it has a couple of uh, sour gum, which gives food and growth. It has the uh, elephants, which I think give orders. It's the sky-based city builder. It's so pretty. I just got it for Switch. Oh, it's on Switch, too. I'll have to check it out. All right, so one other thing that's interesting in this game is anytime you're on a resource with a scout, I can harvest this sour gum. It does take an order, but I get six food. Like, see, I have 326 food. Now I have 332. And obviously I don't really need food. Um, but I just want to show that. So, okay, so yeah, if we harvest this, it gives food. Okay, so if we harvest this, it gives 10 culture in Rome. So let's go harvest this. Harvest incense. So let's talk about culture a little bit. Let's go to Rome. So there's three meters here. These fill up over time. We got growth, which gives you more citizens which gives you specialists and we'll talk about specialists when uh, when we when we start making some um there's culture and then there's unhappiness or discontent we don't want this bar to fill um basically right now we don't have any penalties from discontent but when the bars fill bar fills will hit level one and then i think we have higher maintenance in our city essentially is what it does but it can add up it, it's not it's not something you want and then we have culture so we're getting plus two culture per turn right now. We're at four of 100. So it's going to take 48 years to fill the bar at our current pace. But once we get these farms done, we'll be kicking out way more culture. Um, but once our culture bar fills, we level up from weak culture to developing culture. And developing culture gives us different bonuses. It opens up new projects for us to build. Culture is very important in this game. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, and, and this, um, you notice this growth bar is at zero because as if we're making something that uses growth the growth bar doesn't fill so as long as we're making a settler this bar doesn't fill but as soon as we switch to making something else you know our growth will go up fast especially because this city has high growth anyway all right so they moved they moved let's go down here It'd be nice to get a city site down here because it's there's some good resources here but it isn't really a city close. Eventually, we I'm sure we could push our borders from here out, but I'd rather there be another one. And one interesting thing with orders, you can buy them. You can buy orders with uh, with training. I'm going to buy an order just because I want to see. No, no city. So, oh, way down. Oh, barbarians. So this is barbarians. So we're going to have to fight them. So we'll send our swordsmen over this way. All right, let's end our turn. Prince Remus, my brother and my heir, for now. Um, I've, I've played Rome before, and basically Prince Remus doesn't like me. Opinion of you, upset. Negative 80. <laughs> Never seems to keep his word and is now known to be deceitful. So what this does, um, minus two discipline, global negative 54 gold. Uh, because he's my heir, he's part of my, like my court, so all his... All his traits, I get bonuses from those. So I'm losing gold per turn now because he's because of this. So this event sucked. That's not good. 
that is not good for us at all, folks. Because we don't really have a way to get money early game. I guess I could build a hamlet. I might have to. I mean, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'd rather keep building farms, but... I'm going to have to build a hamlet here. So hamlet, um, you lose a food, you get 20 gold. Um, I think it takes 20 years. Yeah, so in 20 years, it'll develop into a village, which, give, which gives even more gold, right? And then eventually it turns into a, uh, a town, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not thrilled about it, but thanks to stupid Remus, we're, pro we're poor now. <laughs> All right, so let's start moving them towards the barbarians. They can scout over towards some mountains here. There is usually mountain passes. Like, here's a mountain pass over here. So let's head around to that. And we got two orders for you. No, oh, another city site. Okay. So we know we're going up here first because we want to get this iron, right? That'll be huge. But yeah, that does bad luck. That sucks that he got that trait. It's gonna make it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a struggle early game now because of that. But yeah, you know that's the way the cookie crumbles, right? Why do I keep saying that? Like, it's not a saying that I say a lot. I have no idea why. It's like all of a sudden my go-to saying. So, all right. So this is just a warrior. Um, but the barbarians aren't that hard. But we can also add a general. So generals, oh no, we're not going to add general. You want generally, gen, generally, <laughs> you want your general. Your general will give you bonuses to the combat power of your unit, but unfortunately, due to the traits that our eligible generals have right now, they're not really giving us bonuses. So we're going to have to fight them, sans general. But I think we're here early enough. There's only the one. Um, this is actually a ranged troop, so if we hit the melee. They don't even hit us back. So we got first strike in. So as long as a second barbarian unit doesn't spawn, we'll be fine. So in this town, I'm tempted to make another warrior, but I think I can win with what I have. So let's let's actually make a specialist. Just so I can show what specialists do. So anytime you build an improvement, a farm, a mine, a quarry, whatever, it, you can put a specialist there. So the specialist basically doubles the yields of whatever is there. And it um, expands your borders. Like, look how much that's going to expand my border. That's crazy. I mean, uh, eh, eh, my face is kind of blocking it. But gets me the horses, gets me the extra barley. Like, that's, that's a no-brainer. And it's only three years, but it's usually more. But part of the family... Bonus is cheaper half price rural specialist. So it only takes three years to make a rural specialist instead of six, which is huge. All right, so they've already moved, right? Yeah. All right, so let's see what this city site all has to offer. All right, so we got a couple of wheat. So this will likely be another landowner city. Ooh, iron. Ooh. Ooh, and a goodie hut. I'm liking this start. I'm really liking this start. I'm not sure what to if I should make this landowners or um the other family, the military based one. I forget what it's called, but they would both be good there. Huh. And uh one other note, and I might have kind of mentioned this. So we start with four different families. Um you can only use three of them. So you gotta kind of decide which ones you want. All right, so. Oligarch Calpurnia the Younger of the Claudi approaches with a proposition. King Romulus the founder. We have a neat chance to help each other. I understand that more troops may be needed for the war, but in return, I want an oath that you will help the Claudi should we ever ask for aid. So this is one of my families. This is my landowner family. I I'm going to want to be on their good side anyway. Claudi are authoring a wife and an oppressive dowry. Yeah, so I'm single right now, and that's not good because we need to make an heir that is not my stupid brother. <laughs> right? We do not want my brother taking over. Um, is it worth making a promise with unknown consequences? Very well, I will swear this off. So it gives us money, which is nice right now. Um, and a bit of wood improves our um, opinion with them. Also, she has wisdom, 
So she gives us Ed Courage. So she gives us Global Science. She gives us Global Training. Or we could refuse to. We get XP, but I kind of want to have a wife. And it's going to lead to future events, and they may be bad. But we're going to try it, because YOLO, right? All right, so if we go here, we get the iron, but we don't get either sour gum. If we go here, we get one sour gum, but no iron. We go here, one sour gum, ivory, no iron. The iron, I think, is priority. What if I go over here? No, we don't get the iron no matter where we go there. So we're definitely going to go right here. And we're going to make a Fabius Champion's Seat. It is not connected to the capital, so we will need to make roads eventually. Um, we also get a free militia for founding this family seat. All right, and we found the Taurus Mountains, so that gives us some extra legitimacy, which is nice. All right, and so Vandals. These are, they're, it's a tribe, they're called. They're like barbarians. It's definitely coin flip, one Wargamer says. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna take the chance. Plus, I've never seen this event chain before, so I kind of want to see where it goes. Plus, she's a, she's a pretty good wife. I like science. I love science. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a science whore, science slut, generally in 4X games. So these Vandals, you can make peace with them. And I think if you ally with them, you can eventually get their city spots. Or you can just go to war with them, take them over, and get their city spots. And there will probably be multiple. Um, oh, wait, is my wife eligible to be a general? She is not. Oh, well, that's fine. That is fine. Queen Consort Drusilla. All right, so um, we're going to go get this goodie hut. Explorers uncover numerous shafts in the desert hillside. Their entrance is covered by past landslides. Emeralds litter the dark passages, suggesting this site once was a thriving mine. Your scout wishes to continue excavating to find more valuables, but such actions could cause the mines to collapse. I feel like Every time I try this, the mines just collapse. So I'm just going to leave the mines alone this time. And move. All right, so we uh, hit ites. This is another. This is an AI. Shouts from the trees. Our men hurry towards the noise and discover an injured hitite lying in the dirt. His companions work frantically to treat his wounds. According to the men, their caravan was transporting goods to the nearest hitite city when they were attacked by bandits. Hey, look. These are not my lands, so I don't know anything about bandits. Nothing wrong with a little warmongering every now and then. I find in this game, you need to warmonger in a certain point in the early to mid game to kind of get your territory. And then at that point, I think it's more, if you want to continue to warmonger, you can, but you don't need to. But generally speaking, you're going to have a couple of tribes around you. And generally speaking, you're going to want to Keep peace with a couple of them. But you're going to want to go to war with one and take their stuff, in my experience. But I am not an expert at this game by any stretch. All right, so they were attacked by bandits. They managed to repel the attackers and save the cargo with fine wine. Treat his wounds and escort it to the destination. So we get plus 20 opinion with the with the Hittites, with the Hattie, for 20 years, which is 20 turns, one turn, one year. Oh, I did not mean to click that. I gave them something. I gave them military for money. There is an undo button. Let's undo it. Mm. Oh, he's got a settler. Um, yeah, I don't want. I do not want your settler anywhere near me. So this militia, I'm gonna. So if I set my militia on this one, so when I build a city, I can build it in any of these three, but. If I set my militia here, he can no longer settle any of them. So I'm going to do that since he has a settler just apparently wandering around my neck of the woods, which I don't want that. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. All right, so this is my military town, but we're going to need a worker. Um, How long will it take? Him? It takes me five years to build a worker here because this is my growth city. And it takes eight years to build a worker here. But at some point, like I can't just, I can't do, I got to do something other than settlers and workers at some point in this city. It can't be nothing but settlers and workers. You already know how it is. I used to play a crap ton of Civ. Yeah. And, and they're all similar. 
Although Civ, Civ, you can get away with being peaceful. Some games I feel like old world. If you don't, the way it works is you have your starting city site. And this is in my experience. It will generally give you three empty city sites uh, near you. So I still have one somewhere that I haven't. Oh, I guess it's right here. So yeah, one, two, three city sites. And then a barbarian's close to you for a fourth city. So for a total of five cities with your capital. But that's all it gives you. After that, you need to take them from somebody. Um, and maybe you could win with just those five cities. To be fair, I have not finished a game of Old World yet. So, but yeah, you never, well, I mean, look, your name is, you have war in your name, right? So obviously you're not going to be a peacemonger. <laughs> you never go peaceful, especially because some of the AI tend to try and F me over early to mid game. Yeah, they're almost never peaceful. Montezuma. I don't think I've ever shared a, Mon a border with Montezuma and had him stay peaceful. <laughs> honestly and that goes for civ 5 or 6 um all right so what are we doing here we're just flapping our gums all right so this event that we accidentally misclicked so yeah so so we traded some training for gold or we could kill the hittites steal their cargo yeah i generally avoid war 2 and civ when i can help it unless i'm like absolutely cornered and i need to or they if they start a war oh i'm gonna finish the war you know what i mean but I don't start a lot of wars. Oh yeah, I've definitely finished Civ games without ever going to war too. And I don't think I've ever won domination except like when I started the map, like a two-player map, just to get a domination victory. So I'm I, I'm gonna end up taking the one I misclicked on. But yeah, so yeah, so we're we're not losing much money anymore. All right, so I need to decide: am I gonna do a worker here? Or do I want to get my workers from my capital? I feel like I need another warrior. So we're going to do the warrior first, and then we'll see. Because I need to kick out settlers from here as well, right? Like, I can't. I can't just do workers all the time. All right, so. All right, so here's an interesting thing with the tech. With the tech tree, with the way science works in this game. So we got these three techs. And they're all they all have their uses, roads. Uh, slavery and freedom are laws. The way laws work in this game, you're, you'll be presented with two different laws and you pick one or the other. So freedom gives a science per urban specialist and two culture and or capital. Sages, which is one of the families, opinion goes up. Or slavery, we get four extra orders every turn, but we generate extra discontent. And all, all the choices are like that. Um, drama, Odeon, that's three culture per turns a ton. Uh, military drill, which gives barracks, which gives extra um, training, which is huge in our in our city that's going to be kicking out troops. Or we can take a free worker. So these ones that are that give free things, if you pass the, if I pass this by, it doesn't come back around. The actual techs that are you know you know that are legit techs, if you pass them up, they'll get reshuffled and you get them again. The free worker will not come back. So I'm going to take the free worker. Plus, it's only three turns. All right. It's time to choose your next ambition. What's going to be the future direction of Rome? Now, if you, if you, if I finish this ambition, I get some legitimacy. I get a bonus. But if you finish 10, 10 ambitions over the course of the game, you just win straight up. So we can promote units five times. We will talk about unit promotion after this, even if we don't take it. Produce 400 food. Okay, this is pretty easy. Once we get the rest of our farms made in our capital, this is going to be done in no time. Or we could just wait at two's an ambition in five years because these have a time limit. Um, if your leader dies, your heir takes over and, you know, you keep playing. But if your leader dies, which is an hour different from Civ, um, I guess the big difference in this game in Civ is it's one year per one turn, but you stay in like the ancient classical bronze, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, era, right? You, you don't get to tanks and space flight and all that stuff that you get in Civ. You stay in the old, uh, the olden times, right? Um, anyway, this is really easy. 400 food is going to be nothing once I get these extra farms made, which is what my worker's going to be doing here very soon. Yeah, Lee, I'm like you. I generally play Civ pretty peaceful if I can help it. 
sometimes you can't help it. All right, so militia's going to sit here. So nobody can come take the city from me unless they kill the militia first. Because this settler, who knows where the settler's going to go. All right, and there's... Okay, so this is kind of his territory. Um, okay, so there's not a city state between us, or a city site between us. Now, I could just park my settler or my scout here so that nobody could take this from me, but I'd be surprised if his settler was going to go all the way over and take that from me, right? So I'm just going to keep scouting with him instead. All right, so the Vandals, which is... Is this the same tribe that I already met? We already saw. The warlord of the Vandals presents herself at court. She says her people traditionally cement goodwill with a newly met tribe by sharing the bounty of their next hunt in exchange for a gift. So we could give her some wood and we get some food. I don't really want to give up wood. And I'll talk about why in a minute. Or we can give them some iron. Or we can just go to war with them. It's the same tribe cat. Yeah, so I think I saw them, but I don't think I met them till now. I'm going to give them some metal, and here's why. Um, obviously, there's trees that we can build lumber mills on around. Actually, not a lot of trees, though. You can't build lumber mills at this point in the game. There's a tech for that. Um, where's the tech tree? So we're, you know, we have we have the ones in, that are green. Um, forestry, lumber mill. We don't have it yet. Whereas, you know, iron, once we get a mine here, we'll be getting a ton of iron. So I was willing to, I was willing to give away some iron. All right, so as long as another unit doesn't spawn here, we'll be fine. Prince Remus, my idiot brother, still feels fear, as does any sane man, but he never lets it stop him. He's gained plus one courage. Well, hopefully, if he decides to try to, to assassinate me, hopefully he lets the fear stop him in that case <laughs> but he gained the courage so, which is good that gives us extra uh training so i believe i was going to talk about promotions wasn't i all right so let's get this farm going here first um so we're going to talk about promotions so you can spend training this global training pool to buy promotions so it's 70 training for a promotion a new unit, it will cost 100 to promote them. But as they get experience, that cost goes down and down and down. Um, but right now, I think I want to take them out ASAP. We'll promote after. There we go. All right, so we took out the Barbarians. Perfect. And, okay, so they can't move anymore. Still don't have a good general to add, which kind of sucks. Okay, so we want them to just sit there. Well, I guess we could, we could do a little scouting. We could check... Um, we look here, okay, and then we just go back, okay. So we just want to scout a little more. So let's go down this way. We'll try to move away from him. Yeah, I like the promotion mechanic, and it's like, it's more expensive. Oh, more barbarians. Oh, um, Luchera, Luch Mountains. <laughs> I was the first to discover it, though, so he didn't come this way. Another landmark to legitimacy. So if he had found this first, I would still get legitimacy, but I, I would only get one. So if you're the first, you get two, which is nice. Oh, and we got a goodie hut. Oh, we can't go. So let's talk about forced march. So ordinarily, see these pips? Even if I, I still have orders left, but an individual unit can only move, only do so many orders as these pips. But what we could do is we could force march. It costs us a uh, uh, hundred training, which is that's three turns worth of training. That's not a lot, and I want to get it before he does, right? So we're gonna go there. We're gonna get it. All right, scavenging through the ruins, we find significant amounts of stone, iron, and wood. Nice. However, local raiders could reach the ruins by nightfall. We can't fight them off, but we can carry some of the loot back home. Which of the three would you like us to bring back? Stone for construction, iron for our troops. Wood is always useful. We definitely don't want iron. Because like I said, once we get that iron mine, that's like 10 iron per turn. Um, we can minimize this. We don't need that right now. I think I have stone cutting, right? Because much like forestry, um, you need a tech to build quarries. But I start with it. So 
I'm going to take the wood. Because we don't have a way to make wood. Right? Whereas we have ways to make the other things. Let's clear this fog. All right, Rome. Um, settler or worker? Well, we got the free worker comments. So let's do a settler. So that our military units can do something other than squat on future city sites, right? Like, we can clear a little fog here. But eventually we're going to have to go back to that spot. And make sure nobody steals it on us. Alright, militia. We do not want to move the militia. Workers are occupied. Yeah, I mean, I could go there just to see what's in the fog, but... I kind of want to scout away from him. Okay, more Vandals. So, if I was to go to war with the Vandals, which would give us potentially two more city spots, the problem is if we go to war with them, potentially raiding parties could come out of like here. So let's say, let's say we get this city site. We might not. He might beat us, beat us to it, right? Because you have to kill the barbarians first. But let's say we get this city site. And let's say we go to war with the Vandals and we start taking out, you know, these two spots. The problem is because they have, there's a Vandal on the other side, they could start raiding our city. But if we don't get this spot, if he does, then we, we're not worried about this Vandal then, right? It really depends. We are now known as Romulus the Explorer. Right, so our legitimacy is up to 46. So that gives, basically, whatever your legitimacy is, you know, 10% of that, you get that many orders, right? We get 4.6 orders because of our legitimacy. Um, we want to go this way. Mountain Pass. More Barbarians. Wow, that's... You don't, I, don't, I feel like I don't usually have this many barbarians around me. I'm glad I made the warrior first. <laughs> Alright, scouts of Rome are fearless. Exploring e ever further under your expert direction. With the latest reports of far-off lands, you have led the many discoveries compiled into the map of the known world. You have had the many discoveries. Blah. News of this spreads and you are soon known as the Explorer. Pouring over the map and imagine the place is still undiscovered. It's a big map. There's still a lot to see. There's five total players, me and four AIs. You wonder how you will stand apart from the other nations of the world. Is it time to pursue a new ambition to secure the name of Rome? All right. So we can send two luxuries to tribes. We haven't even talked about luxuries yet. But I don't have a lot of luxuries, so I don't know about that. Um, control four minor specialists. Or I'm not feeling ambitious right now. I think I'm going to do four minor specialists. I think that's relatively doable. Like this will be a minor specialist. This will be a minor specialist. I mean, I mean, just we can just build a mine on a on a hill, and put a specialist there too, right? So I think that's probably a good play. Maybe. I wonder if there's a city site down here too. I think I'm going to take this warrior down here to see. And maybe we can get at the barbarians from this side of the mountains, right? I want to clear out this fog, though, either way. Just to see. But yeah, ooh. I might need to go get a, uh, my water bottle. Holy crap. I had uh, salty, salty supper, eating out. Your wife has given birth to a daughter, Princess Hortensia. What a cute kid. Nice. My my heir. All right. So we could take free 200 stone, which is nice. Shrines are nice. Treasury and granaries are nice. Especially with our money issues, thanks to our idiot brother, I'm thinking administration. Or we could go forestry for the lumber mill, but you notice three years, five years, five years, 12 years. Think about taking this stone. Potentially, it would allow us to go for a wonder early. I don't really want to pass pass this up though, because granaries and treasuries are both nice. No, I'm gonna take the free stone. Alright, so we got our worker, our free worker. So let's head them up here. Um I'm gonna make a slinger. Ranged unit, obviously. Alright, let's just uh bring them back here to chill on that city site. 
don't need them to move. Okay, we're going to bring them down this way. I'm going to go here. So, yeah, let's end our turn there. And, okay, the scout has run into a dead end. <laughs> Good night, Roman. How you doing on this fine Tuesday evening slash afternoon slash night? Last morning, I guess, too, for some people, probably. Not sure how many people would be watching me from that neck of the woods, though, but there might be some. Oh, great. My wife has lately spent too many evenings with just a pitcher of wine for company and is now a drunk. Oh, so... <laughs> between my wife and my idiot brother, I'm broke. I'm broke. I wish I would have... Uh. I wish I would have taken the technology that gave the treasuries now. So we're losing money again. But, I mean, we have a lot of money in the bank. It's not like we're going to go broke this turn. Man, that sucks. <laughs> yep, more money loss. Ugh. All right, let's build another farm. Keep this growth high so we can kick out settlers and workers quickly, right? All right, mine... Beautiful. You can stay there. You can stay there. You, we want to move. We want to clear out this fog. You're doing fine. I was about to go to sleep. Saw your stream. Decided to hop in and say hi. Hello. Well, I guess it's probably either 11.43 or 12.43. Or maybe even 1.43. Depending on, I guess, what part of Europe you're in. Or wait, are you in Europe? I'm assuming you're in Europe. If you're going to bed, I assume you're in Europe. So can we sneak by the barbarians here? Oh, no. And I don't think we can get around the mountains this way. 143. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely bedtime. <laughs> that's definitely bedtime. More vandals. Okay. So potentially, if we go to the war of the vandals, it's a lot of city spots. But it's also a lot of vandals to kill. Or, you know, stay alive from, you know, not die to. But we still do want to clear out this fog. I doubt there's a city site in here. But I want to make sure. No, there's not, there's not going to be a city site in there. All right, well, we have no choice but to scale it up towards him. Okay, so we found the Gulf of Tunis. Plus one legitimacy. Oh, and we met another AI, Syria. Our troops encounter a group of traveling, traveling artisans. They said that the nation of Assyria has already established a great civilization in distant lands, but they wish to see the world. To be fair, he's already got four cities. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. He only has one, though, somehow. I thought they started with two. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. Anyway, what shall we tell them? Invite the travelers to settle in Rome. Also, we gain a farmer, free specialist. Tell them, not, tell them nothing of us, so we get vigilant. Which improves our city defense. Or take them captive. So we get 90 science, which is a lot. That's like five turns of science. But you get minus 40 opinion of them. We don't even know where they are. Right? Like, I don't think he's... I think he would have to go through uh, Hattie to get to me. But free farmer is nice too. I agree. Farmers, free farmers is very nice. <laughs> More vandals. All right, let's clear out this fog. Okay, and we got another scout here. Oh, we found the Dykes, Dakes River. Two more legitimacy. Oh, we met another tribe, the Gauls. Almost immediately after discovering the Gallic encampment, our troops are threatened by warriors at its border. Insults are traded. Weapons are drawn. Our units stand at attention, ready to act on our commands. Purchase our goodwill with gifts of gold. Uh, well, it gives us... I don't really want to trade gold because I'm, you know, I'm not making gold, but take one of their units prisoner. When that... Well, it doesn't even, that doesn't put us to war. I'm surprised. I would have thought that would put us at war, but it doesn't. I do like having extra science, though. But that's a lot of extra, um, whatchamacallit, 
training. And it's an extra citizen. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to take the signs. I know safe is boring, but safe keeps me alive, folks. I'd really rather not have a game over <laughs> before the end of stream. All right, so shrine, road slavery, freedom, pasture. We do have some horses. We have um, just horses, though, really. Science is better than them hating it, but if they're only a tribe. It's not an. It's not a full AI. It's just a tribe like the Vandals. So I don't care if they hate me so much. Yeah, let's go with the pasture. I know I don't have a lot of pasture spots, but I might find some. Right. Well, I guess there's some cows here, but it's gonna be a while before we grow to there. It's like this salt, or sorry, marble. I'd love to get this marble, but that's that's pretty far in between. Like. I feel like there almost could have been another city site like right here, right? And then just push this one down a little bit. I don't know. Um, these guys can't heal. You can only heal in your own territory. Um, but some governors, some, or not governors, generals have the ability to heal outside your territory. Yeah, still science good. I, I agree. I don't, I don't regret that decision by any stretch. All right, so settler. Which one do we want to settle first? This one? Get some salt. Salt would be nice. Salt is a luxury. As is lavender, but I don't think we can harvest lavender. I think we need like a tech for that. A tech that's not close. So let's head down to this one. Um, They can just chill. They can chill. All right, so scouts. Uh, go north, I guess. If we can. <laughs> Oh, Danes. All right, so this is another tribe. A combat bearing leader arrives in your court, poised and cautious. He says the Danes will not quarrel with your people if you agree to leave them alone. Tell them to prepare for war. I do get six legitimacy. We do not wish to fight. I don't, I mean, they're pretty far from me, but I still don't think I wish to fight. Maybe eventually. Because I kind of want to go by them. All right, so there's Assyria. We were correct that he would have to go through Hattie to get to me. I need to be scouting up here. Well, we I guess we can do that with this swordsman. We can send him up here. Wait, why is this swordsman not full? When did this swordsman fight anybody? That confuses me. <laughs> Ooh, we found... Some silver. Silver's good because it gives money, which is something that we need. All right, more Gauls. See, that's another reason why I don't want to go to war with the Danes. Like, this could have been Danes, right? It's not. It's Gauls, but it could have been Danes. <laughs> Rome. Uh, do we want another settler? Let's do a worker. Let's do another worker. And then eventually we'll do a settler. All right, so then I'm going to bring my worker, I think, next. Oh, we didn't. We gave another son. Hopefully, she's not drinking during these pregnancies because she is a drunk. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> this is the old the old days, though, where they didn't know what they know now. Wait, I thought I already sent my settler down here. All right, anyway. let's. I have no idea where how these guys get damaged, but let's heal them. <laughs> So we're going to build a farm down here, and then we'll put a farmer here, which will allow us to push our border out. I'd love to get this marble. All right, so another farm, just more growth, more culture, more food. And if I really get money issues, I can sell some food, right? And again, this produce 400 food. We're going to have that real soon. All right, so we have a slinger. So let's send the slinger up north here. Not much to see. Not much to see. Wait, he has archers already? Well, we really do not want to go to war with him. Duchess Plotia is... Yeah, my niece. My idiot brother's daughter. <laughs> she would be fourth in line for succession. But, I mean, she still matters, right? Like, if we have... 
if she has bonuses, if she has stats, we do get something from that. Obviously, she's a kid. Not when she's a kid, but once she becomes an adult. Um, it'll matter. Oh, I should have probably gotten this goody hut. Oh, well. All right. So this is our military place. Do we want to make another warrior? Sure. Once we get this mine done, we'll make a we'll put a miner there. But we don't have that yet, so yeah, this <laughs> by the time give it another half hour and this will be so far down my face will be covered <laughs> part of the list. Alright, so if we go there, we get this salt instantly. Here we get the salt. I wish I knew what was in this fog. Well, one way to find out. Not much in that fog. Okay. <laughs> um, can we get the salt and the honey? We can. And the the dyes. We can't get there this turn, though. But that's fine. They're just going to chill. You can chill for now, swordsman. The slinger's much closer to the action than you are. Not much going on up here thus far. They can chill. All right, let's see. Okay, let's let's just kind of walk his border here and see exactly where it is so we know. Uh, the Visurgis River, another legitimacy. In this scout, okay, we'll get this ruin. Our troops discover a towering wall depicting images and carvings belonging to an ancient civilization with an impeccable record of their laws. Our generals want to preserve such findings. What do you advise? Advise, I command, bring the wall to Rome. So 40, uh, 40 culture in Rome. And we become steadfast, which makes us a better general. And also, as a leader, even if not as a general, gives all our units plus 10 combat strength against tribal units. I'm probably going to take that. Or, or free tack. But free tack is nice. It's hard to pass up on a free tack because we are not exactly killing it in science right now. Those are both really good. But it's hard to pass up a free tech. And it's like an expensive tech, I think. It's, well, it's this one. Yeah, I guess it's not that expensive. Always free tech. Uh, but you know, to fight, like, we will have to fight the tribes, right? I agree, though. Free tech is so hard to pass up. Oh, I guess we should be trying to fight these barbarians. That's where I should be sending this swordsman. But not right now, because I am out of orders. Unfortunately. Word of our knowledge of aristocracy has traveled far. An emissary representing King Hadassili, the founder of Hadi, arrives at court, humbly requesting that we share with Hadi what we know. Okay, so we can just share with them. They owe us a favor. Or we can tell them to piss off and I get 40 XP. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to share with them. They only have one city. They're not really a threat. I kind of want to keep him there as a buffer. <laughs> between me and Assyria. Yeah, that's some gossip network. They must have Twitter in Rome, clearly. Alright, so. Now we can we can do a law. So centralization. Costs, costs us 40 civics, but we have lots. And really, civics are only used for stuff like this. So it's not like spending these civics are a big deal. So we get plus 10 civics per year in our capital city. And plus 20% science. Which is only 0.6 science. But science is science. Or vassalage. Minus 50% unit consumption. Which I had to Google it. Unit consumption is basically unit upkeep. Or we can not decide right now, or the court will choose the laws. I think I'm going to go with unit consumption. Since we are going to, we're Rome, we're going to do a bit of a uh, a warmonger. All right, so we already have two of these family seats. So we got to decide what we want for our third family seat. Valerius, they get two civics per year. Two culture per year per specialist. Can harry projects with money. Not that we have a lot of money right now. But we will eventually. Um, we get minus one discontent, discontent here. Um, and we get a court minister. A new courtier. Or we can go with Julius. We get one extra order per year, which is nice. We get one 
civic per year per family opinion level. We gain a treasury. I'm thinking this because we need money. We're at minus 17 money per turn right now. That is not good. I do like this family, but I've, I've, I don't think I've ever used this one. I've always taken this one, so I'm going to take this. So we gain a treasury. So now we're only losing 11 gold per turn, which is better. All right, so we're doing a worker here. But I think... I think that worker is going to stay around here. Um, yeah, I think Julius makes the most sense. I agree. So we're going to make our own worker. I know it's eight turns and that's a lot, but it is what it is. All right. So we could do a wonder. We could do um, the hang gardens. We could do the pyramids. So let's look. The pyramids, it's four culture per year. It's one order per year. And it's two victory points, and it's minus 50 star at law cost. That is nice. We do not have enough uh, marble. You can see the cost at the bottom there. Um, or we can do the Hanging Gardens, which is 1.6 growth per year. We probably want this in our capital, though, because that's our growth city. Four culture. Um, also, all cities get 20% growth. But it needs to be on a river. Yeah, we do have a river in our capital. The thing about Wonders, and this is a big difference from Civ, the second I start building this, nobody else can build it. That's it. I know not everybody would like that, but I like that. There's nothing worse than in, in Civ being one turn away from the Wonder and the AI or one of your other players snipes it from you. There's nothing worse. But if I'm going to build one, I think I want to build it in my capital. So let's get a camp going right here. Yeah, no one can wonder snipe. All right, and now we can heal. Okay. Um, we were going to send these down towards these barbarians, I think, weren't we? What was the plan? Oh, let's clear out all this fog. More Danes. Oh, ah, I missed this ruin, this goody hut. Crap. All right, militia can chill. Clear out all this fog. More Danes. Okay, so we, we're going to have to decide. Do we want to go to war with the Danes or the Vandals? Not both. We want to make sure we're not at war with both at the same time. That would be bad for us. And I know I don't... I probably shouldn't be spending money, but I'm going to spend enough money to get enough stone to make uh, the Hanging Gardens. Oh, my idiot brother. Uh, he's ever more slothful and lazy. He has stopped following his strict regimen of diet and exercise. He has lost discipline. Minus 42 gold per turn. Remus, man, come on. Minus 72 just from you. Can I assassinate my brother? Like, can I just kill him? Can I just kill him? God, how old? Oh, he's only 38. Can we have him assassinated? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't... I mean, maybe an event can pop up that can do it, but I, I can't just do it from what I see. Wait, why is it only 400 stone if I do it here? I don't know. I don't know why it's only 400 stone. Yeah, yeah it's the same time I said it. Yo, great minds think alike, right? All right, so we have the Hanging Gardens. Well, we don't have it yet. It's 10 turns, but nobody can take it from us, which is the important thing. All right, well, another farm. God, we're going to have so much growth in this city. We're going to be able to kick out settlers and workers so fast, which is a good thing. All right, so we got a couple swordsmen down there now. Yeah, I mean, I assume I... Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> Hungry lore keepers. Our explorers find a family of starving lore keepers encamped in the ruins. Well, we can give them food. Oh, we finished our ambition, our food one, as we predicted. Surviving on scraps. Pleading for help, they offer to share their mastery of oratory in exchange for food. We agree to their offer. We will feed them and learn their skills. 300 food is... That's five turns of food. That's nothing for a free tech. 
Oh. Like, this is this is first world problems, right? This is the, not the first time I've had two good options. 24 gold per turn is nice. But so is a free tack. Right? Which tack is it? Epics and Exploration. It is not the one. It is not the one that offers the treasury. Yeah, 300 food is nothing. Like I said, that's that's five turns worth of food, which is nothing. Um, but that that greatly stabilizes my money, right? I can't pass up a free tech. I just can't. I can't do it. Is this... What I should be doing is I should be looking at harvesting this stuff, seeing if any of her, if there's, is there any of this stuff that we can harvest that gives us money? <laughs> oh, you know what? Wasn't there silver somewhere down here? I bet harvesting this gives us money. Persia. All right. So we've met three of the four AIs. We've encountered people from the realm of Persia. They are led by King Cyrus, the learned Persia, known as a hero, which is a military thing. How shall we approach the Persians? Show them our goodwill the gift. 180 gold. Eh. <laughs> Keep the meeting civil. We must dominate them. Ugh, I hate giving away money. I can always sell food, though, right? Which I have a feeling that there's going to be a point where I'm going to have to sell food. All right. Um... Roma, Roma. So we want to build a farmer here. We want to expand our borders because we want to try to get this marble. Harvest and hunt. Having set aside a season to personally oversee both harvest and hunt, you feel confident that the basic needs of your people are being met. With hunger abated, Rome can now focus on other goals. What is your next priority? Okay, this is because we finished our ambition for 400 food. Rome's food production could be made yet more efficient. So starts the ambition control for granaries, which we could do that. Um, we now have the means to expand Rome to new lands, control seven cities. I mean, we're going to be trying to do that anyway. Um, those within our cities should benefit from the surplus, control six urban improvements. Now there's urban improvements and rural improvements. We've been making mostly rural improvements. So I'm going to go with the cities. It's corn time, Alyssa says. Welcome back, Alyssa. Unfortunately, there is no corn in this game that I can see. Now, Civ 6, there is maize, which is essentially corn. But unfortunately, we're not playing Civ right now. So no corn. I'm sorry. I mean, we got barley and wheat. That's it's not really corn. Hey, Axel. How are you doing on this fine evening? <laughs> sorry, Alyssa. All right, stories and souvenirs. Scouts encounter an expedition of strangers following a similar route. They call themselves Carthaginians. This is a tribe, I think, right? No, this is the AI. All right, so we've met all the AIs. They hail from a distant land beyond the horizon. Sharing a cordial meal, the two groups exchange stories and souvenirs. How shall our scouts conclude this meeting? I can't. I can't give them any... I can't afford to give away any more gold. I just can't. Hopefully they're far away. <laughs> oh, I'm going to assume they're over here. Persia, Carthage. So that means, like, up here should be empty. Day was a bit much. Need some chill, which is where you come in. I will do my best. All right, so epics or exploration. So, new law, because we got that free tech. Court is open debate on the topic of cultural enrichment, and we are of two minds in the matter. We can expand or invest in national epics, or can we rely on exploration to bring us new experiences? So epics plus 10 culture per military unit killed. We are going to be going to, we're going to be doing some battles in the near future. Or the world has many tales to tell. No extra unit upkeep consumption 
is upkeep. When outside borders, scouts move on water. They're both good. Let's just look at the map here. So there's a bunch of water over here, but realistically, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be out this way, right? I'm going to assume that he is going to beat me to these barbarians, probably. Yeah, he doesn't really have anywhere to go now that I look at it. Oh, well, not my problem, but... <laughs> um, there's no water up here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take epics, I think. Get that culture, because we are going to be killing some military units here soon, right? Yeah, either or could be good. Let's head down or up to these barbarians with our two swordsmen. Oh, we have a general that doesn't suck. We got Tiberius the Insane. <laughs> Plus 15% attack. Heal in neutral territory. That's good. Healing in neutral territory is very nice. And Hattie so needs to be the first full sieve to die. Yeah, I'd say they will be. Although, like I said, I kind of want to leave him as a buffer between me and him, especially since this dude has archers, which psh, I can't compete with that. Hey, Mr. Beantown. You're watching my stream while playing Subnautica. I cannot do Subnautica. I have, like, fear of open water, thalassophobia, or whatever the heck it's called. I just, I just can't. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't clear up near as much fog. All right, so we don't really want to be attacking them. They have three units. <laughs> okay, that guy, we want to chill. And we've already moved our swords. We just want to move our... All right, so we want to go here. Harvest of silver, 33 gold. It helps. One war gamer says, Subnautica gives me fear and anxiety. I cannot fully explain it in words. I I get it, man. I'm the same way. I just... And it's not something... Like, I don't generally suffer from anxiety, thankfully. But I tried to play Subnautica, and it just gave me this feeling in my in my chest. I just like, nope. Nope. nope nobody, nope, nope. Because Subnautica is definitely one of the most suggested games like that people have suggested for me to play. And I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do Subnautica. All right. So this will be our first of our four minor specialists that we need for that ambition. Now notice it's five years instead of three, right? Because it's three in our other city because of the family that lives there. But yeah, no, I get it. I, I can't do, I can't do Subnautica. Oh, the barbarians are busy killing somebody's scout. All right, so we can do treasury. We got to do this treasury and granary. We got to get some treasuries. There's just, there's no, no even thinking about it. All right, I don't think scouts can attack. I just don't want them to snipe this on me. I don't think scouts can attack though. All right, well, let's get the heck out of here. We don't, we're not trying to fight them. Ooh, does this give us money if we harvest it? No. Is this culture? All right. Monica just gives you that unknown sense of dread. Kudo to the devs, but I'll never play the game. Yeah, I I'm the same. I do own it. Like I well, let me let me check my Steam here. Bear with me. Subnautica. God, I have so many games on Steam. I played it for five hours, but I think like the starting area was fine. And the second I got to the deep water, I was just like, nope, I cannot do this. Like when I couldn't see the bottom, it just triggered something in me. It triggered a fear. Like if I, if all I can see is water, that just gives me so much anxiety. I couldn't do it. Anyway, <laughs> that really is neither here nor there. Right now we're playing Old World. All right, so there's his border. Good to know. Oh wow, he's yeah, he's. Well, he does have like five cities. No, sorry, he has four cities. So developing means his culture bar is filled up. Yeah, no scuba diving for me. No. Nope. Absolutely no scuba diving for me. Even worse when you get to the areas of the ocean where it's just pure darkness. Yeah. Yeah, if you like Civ-type games, 
Old World's pretty good. And actually that um um humankind has been getting some patches too. Like it's a good time to be a 4X fan right now, I feel. Because humankind, I think, like looking at these patches, seeing what they're doing, it could be really good. There's a patch currently in, in the beta branch that you can play. I might stream it tomorrow night. Maybe. Don't hold me to that. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to stream more Mad Games Tycoon. Tomorrow night, I might stream Humankind. But I want to check it out. I can't afford to send you gold. I just can't. Recent Syrian Wars of Left King Asurbana. Not my pal, apparently. The explorer of Assyria with a severe need to re-equip his army. You're winning, man. I'm not giving you jack. We are in no position to give aid. Ironwood food or gold would be welcome to receive. Well, I'd love to give you food. But it's not giving me that option. So I'll take the XP, I guess. Your birthday's coming up less than two weeks. I plan to celebrate a little by buying and playing XCOM 2. I do like a good tactical RPG as well. I, uh, for sure. Assyria is now at war with the Danes. All right. And my princess, my daughter, my oldest daughter, is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. All right. A prophet named Moses arrives in Roma. Okay. So we get this event because we got our culture reached level two in our capital. Um, bearing a holy book. I have I have played a couple tactical RPGs. Actually, one of my very first Let's Plays. Like, might have been my second or third Let's Play I ever did. And I didn't play it for super long. Was that Battletech game. That's a fun tactical RPG, if you like XCOM. Alright, so Moses. Anyway. <laughs> he claims that his God, the only true God, bestowed this book upon him. And that it contains all the laws and commandments our people will need. Okay, so we found Judaism, or we can expel him. Gets us some legitimacy, but I, having a founding religions is good in this game. All right, so we founded Judaism. All right, so Princess Hortensia, we are going to study commerce. Help out with that gold problem we're having. <laughs> I mean, I could build another Hamlet. Um, I could build a pasture. Do a. Do another Hamlet. Can I do granaries yet? No, I can't do granaries yet. I can't do it. I can't do another. Actually, I need, I need some marble right now. So let's go over here and let's get a quarry going. Because we're next to mountains, we get nine stone for this quarry, which is nice. How's our wonder coming? Seven more years still. My God, feels like we've been working on that forever. Um. Garrison, I think I need to do a Hamlet. I need gold. Just my stupid idiot, excuse me, my stupid idiot brother. Messing everything up, like seriously. Oh, excuse me. It's like, I don't know, I find it, <laughs> I never want to burp into my mic, but sometimes it's like, I think I'm going to burp, so I'm like, and then I don't, and then as soon as I start talking, it comes out. Anyway, back when there was no chat delay on Twitch, we used to do a chat plays XCOM where each person in chat controlled their own character. That would be fun. I mean, you still could do it even with the chat delay. It would just, just take a while, I guess. Um, all right, so we want to move our scouts, preferably. All right, we want to send them back to heal. I know they're not super injured, but yeah, we're going to send them back to heal. All right, so let's move our scouts. Let's get up north here, because I feel like there's going to be some... Oh, we got seven gold for finding horses. Oh, actually, harvest horses, 19 gold. I know we lose 53 gold a turn, but I'm just trying to staunch the, the, flood, the, the blood loss of gold. Um... Yeah, let's clear out all this fog around these gall encampments. In case I mean okay, so let's see. So the Gauls are here, right? We got N here. We got Vandals here and here and here. We got Danes up here. I'm assuming there's gonna be more Danes up north. But Vandals are and Danes are both also over here. So I'm starting to think Gauls might be the best bet for war since they're all just down here. 
and there's like five of them, but he might want to take them out as well. All right, so we want to do another settler, probably. Okay, so the descendants of the prophet Abraham have settled in the city of Roma, bringing Judaism to the world. The Jewish believers worship God through sacrifice and the reading of their sacred texts given by God to the prophet Moses. Their dedication is such that they won't pray to any other gods and strictly follow the laws set out by their religious creed. Will you support this new religion? Invite the leaders to the court. So we get 40 opinion with the religion. We lose 70 civics. That's nothing. That's like two turns of civics. Ask for a copy of their laws. Gives us 70 civics. But again, that's two turns of civics. This does not concern me. So we get legitimacy, but we piss off Judaism. We do not want to piss off Judaism. I, I will give up the civics. All right, we got new research. Treasury. Wait, did I pass this up again? I really want these ones as well, but I need I need the treasury. I thought I took the treasury last time. Didn't I? Clearly I didn't, I guess. But if we run out of money, or if we think we're gonna run out of money, we can just we can sell some food. Alright, so our wife converted to Judaism. Spurious, who is who is Spurious? <laughs> anyway, whoever Spurious is also converted to Judaism. And the Claudius family is converted to Judaism. I could have sworn you took the trades last time. I thought I did too. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, I can't give the money. Yeah, yeah, let's do Carthage, I guess. I just, I'm sorry, people. I can't afford to give anybody any money right now. As much as I'd like to. Try to make everybody happy. I can't do it. I can't justify it. All right, let's kind of double back here. Ooh, harvest elephants, 23 gold. Yeah, there's some more Danes. We got the Oxus River. First to find that, which is nice. Harvesting that gives us culture. All right, let's bring this slinger back down this way. Start looking at some barbarians to F up. And this will be our last order, but I think that's fine. Question mark. I mean, at least with the treasury, it's we're going to get it quick, right? Which is nice. Carthage is now at peace with the Vandals. Spurious. Okay, so who is... Okay, so he's just Claudius religion? I don't know what my relation is to him. He's the head of Judaism, so does he like me? And eh, we're, we're at, like, base uh, faction with each other, whatever. And, okay, Duchess is old enough to be tutored by courtiers. All right, so shrine is nice. Sovereignty is, eh. Constitution, yeah, it's money, but it means ten turns for that. Um, chancellor, chariot, border growth. If we don't take the border growth, we lose it. Shrines are nice though too. Um, I gotta take the border growth. I just. The ones where if you don't take them, you lose them. It's it's hard to pass them up, right? All right, so you're all healed up, so let's send you over this way. You can chill. Make sure we don't lose that city-state. You can chill. Um, You can come over this way. You can chill. Let's, get, let's clear out all this fog here. Um, What do we get if we harvest that culture? No, we want to harvest stuff that gives us gold. More Danes. In the Cappadocian Valley. First to find it. That means legitimacy. So yeah, I'm thinking war with the Gauls is probably my best bet. Alright, so five more years for the Hanging Gardens. One year more year for my marble stone. I guess, sorry, stone mine, which is good because I'm losing three stone per turn and I'm almost dead of stone. I mean, I could buy stone. But I'm not really in a position to be buying much of anything right now, right? I need to hold on to my money as much as possible. Part of their training, Princess Hortensia and her fellow students organized an emporium near Escrivium, where they study. Hortensia leads the effort and shows considerable promise. In fact, the citizens of Escrivium wish to keep the emporium as a permanent fixture for trade. What do you wish to establish in a city? 
So we can, oh, a market, which I assume gives us money, or a trading post, which gains us a caravan. All right, what's a market do? Plus 20% gold, enables shopkeeper, enables grocer. Let's go with X. Caravan is something you send. Um, you send to the AI. And it just gives you a lump sum of money when it arrives. Whereas I want a more consistent source of gold. All right, so we can't, can't have two people studying commerce. So I'm going to go philosophy because that gives us science. And we've already established that we like science, right? All right, so our scouts are all done moving. So we might as well move this swordsman. Not much going on there. Yeah, I'm thinking war with the gulls. Well, let's see. What are our relationships with all of them? Yeah, we're okay with the gulls. Yeah, we'll probably do war with the gulls. All right. Um probably go up here for this, with this settler thinks our next best bet do landowners all right so we're at positive stone but we're gonna we're gonna need a lot more stone eventually right now though we're good for stone let's do a pasture extra half of an order i will take it um you guys can chill for now you can chill all right let's move our scouts first here Harvest for money? No. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just chasing stuff that I can harvest for money. Probably not great use of my time, to be fair. I'm assuming this is gonna be a dead end. Ooh, oh, harvest some elephants. Nice. Our money's we're holding on pretty good. And I mean I can sell. Like, I can sell 100 food if I hold control. I think we sell 100. Yeah. You do that twice, like, easily. That's no problem, right? Roma. Do we want to make another settler? I mean, we're holding. We go there. We want to do a worker. Now let's bang out a worker and send it up to the new city. And choose production here. Let's go with another slinger. No, actually, you know what? Let's do a set. Let's do a. Uh, let's do a treasury. <laughs> we need the money. Um, okay, you can just chill. Let's get some of these other military units. Oh, I guess I have this city site too. Sorry, too. Yeah, maybe I should have done a settler. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh my God, my. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Remus? Could you just die? Like, my gold for turn is going to skyrocket when King Remus dies. You should play Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. <laughs> well, that name is pretty funny. <laughs> Duke Aulis is old enough to be tutored. All right. Not permitted to enter the prominent city courts. Duchess, Duchess Plodia, Plodia, Plasha. And her friends spend their days in the surrounding uh, market with an erudite shoemaker. Um, is that game on Steam, Bean Town? I'll check it out if it is. I'll check it out either way. Um, and this group of merchant philosophers learning the skills of philosophy and debate. While many formal scholars refuse to recognize such teachings, Plotia seems to have been enriched by his experiences. Not all education is found in the classroom, so she gets witty, humble, righteous, or bold, which are generally all good traits. Or discipline which gives us gold. We're going to take the discipline. Um, tactics or... I'm going to go tactics. And we want to go here because I want to get I want to get that iron as soon as possible, right? So we're going to do landowners because there's a couple of... Uh, there's a couple of... What's going to call it? Farms. Farm sites. All right, so we got our worker here. Um, hmm. I'm actually going to go for stone. First, and then we'll do. Then we'll go put a mine on the salt, and then we'll go out and we'll put some nets on the uh, on the dyes because those are luxuries too, right? And then we'll be able to talk about what luxuries are. But right now, I want ten stone because <laughs> that's a lot of stone. They can chill. They can chill. 
All right, let's move our scouts first. On to that. All right, your explorers send back word from the ruins of a beautiful palace ravaged by time. Beneath the throne is a stone. And a scone. <laughs> All alone. With a phone. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Beneath the throne is a stone, inscribed in an ancient form of Latin. The regal inscription tells of a lost kingdom and the attempts of the queen to fulfill her ambitions. The families are enraptured by this work of art and hope that you will strive to complete the ambitions that this previous nation could not. All right, so the Julie, Julie, I want me to stockpile 2,000 training. Well, we're almost halfway there. We're getting 76 per turn. That seems fairly reasonable, honestly. Fabi, I want you to attack Tolerance, which is a law. I'm not sure how far an attack tree that is, honestly. We control five naval units. We control this many naval units right now. So we're going to do the training one. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, this is the end of the map. This is the border of the map. Okay. So we're, there's a lot more to the, of the map to the south then. Because the maps are pretty big. Like, it's stopping, but it, it stops just to tell you so that it doesn't tell you where the map actually stops. It's only stopping because it's fog. It might go way more south. Because I feel like the map is a lot bigger than this. Anyway. More Danes. Okay. Okay, we already harvested the elephants. Can we harvest those? No, because our scouts can't go on the water. Because we did not take exploration. We took epics. Oh, well. That is fine. All right. What do we want to build here? Um, well, I forget who. Which family? This is our third family, right? This is our family that gives. Uh, all right. So we already have a treasure. Oh, we could put a shopkeeper plus 20 gold per year. <laughs> that seems good. And Ostia, so we're building a worker in Rome for here, so we don't need to build that. So, treasury. Actually, let's do a forum first. Because the forum gives a permanent boost to civics, which makes all these other projects cheaper. So we'll do, do the forum first, and then we'll do a treasury. All right, they can chill. Okay, we got one order left, so let's get our slinger moved down a little bit more. And end our turn. We're up to 18 orders per turn now, which is nice. Obviously, we'd like more because, you know, we definitely could have could have used more if we had it. Okay, Zor Zoroastrianism has been founded in some Arabian city that I'm not going to try to pronounce. Um, Titus, who is somebody, <laughs> somebody who has good discipline, better than my stupid brother. All right, so we take the food boost. I don't think I want to take the food boost. I'm going to take roads and then other slavery or freedom. Um, okay, so the, the border boost clearly <laughs> went in this city because we didn't have this sour gum before. Um, oh, that'd be a really good quarry right there. Um, I can't remember. Do mines get bonuses by being next to each other? Hill. Yeah, plus 10 per adjacent mine. I'm going to build another iron mine. Everyone is more disciplined than your brother. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Literally everyone in the entire world has more discipline than stupid Duke Remus. All right. Uh, where are my scouts at? Way up north. In the land of the Danes, clearly. Well, what does this give if we harvest it? It gives us three stone. Eh. That stone is not money. <laughs> There's a lot of gulls down here for us to potentially take out, like one by one by one. Why is this one white and this one's not white? Well, it's an elite marauder. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so the elite marauder is this color, but the elite skirmisher is this color. I clearly found Denmark. Yeah, I would say. All right. 
The merchant has returned from Persia, describes the unusual practices of Zornet. I don't want I don't want it. There's no interest. Hire a veteran soldier as a tutor. It costs money. Yeah, we got money. Kind of. <laughs> Somehow, I'm staying afloat despite all that money I'm losing in return. Adopt Judaism. So, um, we get minus one unhappiness. We get less civics, but less di or less discontent is nice. Having Judaism. Recently, you've been thinking about improving relations with the Duchess Consort Calpurnia the Younger. Who knows what benefits such a court or friendship could bring? Um, who is this? My sister-in-law. Okay. An influence mission could help you accomplish this goal. So you set out to influence the Duchess Consort and thereby improve their opinion. Um, sure. Maybe we'll get gold out of it somehow. <laughs> I mean, probably not. A man can dream, right? Oh, wow, our borders grew a lot here, too. Oh, my mother just died. I probably shouldn't have clicked through that so quick. All right, so Carthage is paying back um, the favor. In response to her grace and support of Carthage during her struggles, Queen Dido the Good has extended an invitation. She would be honored if you would visit the Royal Palace and speak before the gathered Carthaginian court. High honor. During your visit, the heir to Carthage's throne, Princess Amber, offers to act as your escort. This may be a good chance to win over the next generation of Carthaginian Junian leadership, but it would mean ignoring the current ruler. I will stay close to my host. She becomes endeared to me. Or, okay, so which one do I want to be? Oh, I wish I was affable. I could win over both of them. Well, how old is she? She's 48. I'm 47. So she's positively ancient <laughs> in old times. So I'm going to... Uh, stuck up to her, her mother. I clicked on the wrong thing, though. All right. Uh, one day in the training grounds, Duke Aulus notices a lame mongrel begging for scraps. He takes the creature into his care. Is this one of my kids? Yes, my second aligned son. He takes the creature into his care and nurses him back to health. From that point forward, the creature never leaves Aulus' side. Nice. Aulus is a good one. <laughs> this makes me want to reinstall Civ 5, not going to lie. Yeah, I mean. This game is good, though, too, but Civ 5 is... I haven't played Civ 5 in so long. I didn't... I know, I know not everybody likes Civ 6, but I did. Um, the dog possesses a complete devotion to all his... A direct result of his master's training. Okay. Oh, so he gets compassionate, which gives him some discipline, which gives him gold per turn. Um, or he becomes strict, which makes him good as a governor for infantry units. Or cruel. No, we don't want to be cruel. We will go with compassion i need to blow my nose sorry about that hey look at that minus 53 gold per turn we're getting there folks slowly slowly but surely um Ooh, that's a nine quarry. So yeah, so if you mouse over the different things, like if I mouse over mine, it tells me exactly what we can get everywhere. Are we working on any quarries right now? I feel like I need another quarry. Need a lot of quarries. Need a lot of stone. Especially if you want to build wonders. They almost always use a lot of stone. All right, so we're going to send this guy up here to work here. Ooh, we got the iron now to or or whatever it's called excuse me um we won't move them yet actually let's move these first get them closer and then we'll move uh, one of our scouts let's move our scout that's down south i want to see how far these gulls go all right so that's the end of the line until we can get requires anchored ship so we'll need we'll need to build some by reams in have to be probably be in a scrivium, but I think we need a uh, attack for that. So let's do a settler here. I mean, I could do a farmer, do another farmer. I could do a rancher. I could do a stone cutter. But I think I think the player right now is another settler. All right, quality time. Oh, so this is the one I clicked on. I clicked on her picture instead of this. 
But we're gonna suck up to the daughter, I think. And then we'll end turn. I need to get these four minor specialists going here soon, though. I only, I'm only at one of four. I am now known as Romulus the Strong. Parthage and Assyria are at peace. Why were they were? Aren't they on opposite sides of the map? Like Parthage is like over in the anyway. Parthage is in the west, Assyria is in the northeast, I thought. Patty is now at peace with Persia. I did not know these were all <laughs> at war. Hanging Gardens completed. Finally. Nice. Uh, we have successfully exerted your influence upon Duchess. Um, my sister-in-law, she is influenced by me. Whatever that means. I guess we're just friends now? I don't know. Alright, so what do we want to do here? I guess we can go do a little, build another pasture. More growth. Not that we really need more growth. We got crazy growth in that city already. We cannot do anything here yet because we do not have land consolidation, which you need to make it grow. But we can come up here and make this mine on the salt. Ooh, that gives us money. We should have done that first. And then we can put a, a specialist there, which will be even more money. Nice. Everything's coming up. Uh, Looch here. And we get a mine going. That's 16 iron. That's a lot of iron. Okay, the swordsmen don't need to move. Those swordsmen don't need to move. Slinger can come chill right here. Swordsman can chill there. And we're done. So we didn't even get to move either scout this turn, which is less than ideal. But, yeah, I mean, we'll survive, right? Yeah, we'll survive. You don't have... Oh, you don't have Civ 6 on your current Steam account. Yeah, I mean... I understand why people don't like it. I don't think it's a perfect game by any stretch. But once I got used to using the districts, I don't think I could go back to Civ 5. Unless I did it just for like a fun nostalgia game. And it's been long enough now that I probably could. Alright, so King Hadassili is dead. A new ruler queen, Istapariah, the new of Haiti, Haiti, not Haiti, is taking the throne. They're upset with me. I had nothing to do with it. They're now at peace with the Vandals. Okay, with the death of her, the Nurur has asked the statue of the deceased be erected, claiming that Hadassili was particularly fond of the city. Fabius' family are outraged. What's our relationship with Fabius right now? It's not that great. To be fair, I don't really want to upset them. Eh, I'm okay with her not liking me. She's not very strong. All right, during one of your visits to the academy, Duchess Plasha asked you to come see her pet monkey. You recently rescued the furry creature from the local market and fell in love with it. You worry where this obsession would go. Um, wait. Why can't... I'm terrifying? When did I become terrifying? I do not remember being terrifying. Oh, I'm ruthless, I guess. For you, if a game is fun to me, that's all that matters. Other people's opinions, whether it can help in the long run, it is ultimately up to me to decide if I want the game. Oh, 100%. I, some people, though, put too much stock in other people's opinions. No, that makes sense. That makes, makes sense to me. I don't want to kill the monkey, but it's literally my only option. And then she becomes bitter. Apparently, I'm terrifying. I didn't know I was terrifying. I don't remember being terrifying. <laughs> All right. Princess Hortensia has completed their study of commerce. How shall she contribute to the court? Builder. Ooh, that gives us money. Look at that. We're in the green. We're making money every turn, folks. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Screw you, Remus. <laughs> this was all your fault. Stupid Duke Remus. Just die already, you and your minus four discipline. Man. <laughs> all right, let's move our scouts this turn. We didn't move our scouts at all last turn. Um, Don't really need the harvest. Ooh, goody hut. The temple stands upon, atop the crest of the highest hill. It's terrace, dec yeah, it's terrace decorated with bright metal and ceramic. Local legend marks the site as where heaven and earth meet, where all life began. Of course, the only way to see its wonders is to inhale some of the mind-altering plants um, <laughs> along the hillside in an ancient spiritual ceremony. A soldier brings you a bowl of the strange powder 
but he seems hesitant about its effects. Finally, I've set your brother. Yeah, finally. My mind is open. So we become exotic. Gives us two uh, charisma, which gives us a global four civics, which is nice. Our civics isn't super high right now. Or we can become educated. So we... Hmm, okay, so... Okay, so... Oh, that's seven science. Oh, that's hard to say no to, but... Oh, okay, so Queen of Skenga is Queen of the Gauls. But that's who we're going to war with. So we don't care if we piss her off. That's fine. Oligarch Faustus, on the other hand, is the head of the Fabius family. Ugh. I don't seven science is a lot. No, I gotta I gotta I got I gotta do the seven science. Like that's twenty five percent of her science per turn. Right? That's huge. Go from twenty eight to thirty five like that. Alright, and oh well this scout, we don't really care about this scout. Guess we can clear this fog out. Not much to see there. Alright. Choose production here. What we want to do. Specialist there. What can we do for two turns in the meantime? Do a festival? Actually, do let's do forum. It takes three years. And then here. Um, another warrior. We need a developing culture. So we need more culture. So actually, let's do... We can't do treasury two yet. Or we could do disciples. Actually, once we get farms here, we'll have more growth and we can make, we can spread Judaism faster. So let's do, ah, oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> let's just do a forum, I guess. All right, so. You can stop there. You can go there. You can go there. Wait, who's this? Persia. So we got to make sure they don't snipe any of these Gauls from us, right? Do we have any good generals? Well, we got the one, but he's already... We already have him somewhere. Oh, I just remembered. I haven't made a governor yet. Have I? So if I make myself the governor, we get two growth, 1.2 um, training... Two extra science, six extra gold. Or Hortensia gets science and a bunch of money. Titus gets, ooh, minus two discontent. Ten gold. I'm going to do... I'm going to give... I'm going to let Titus be... Oh, when we need... Crap, we need 100 civics for that. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, do we want to just declare war now? Should we just declare war now on the poor Gauls? Probably. Well, where, where's my scout? <laughs> Let's wait. Let's wait and get my scout into safety. So we'll declare war next turn. I guess that militia can come down here. They don't need to be up there. Another settler coming, which is nice because we still have multiple, multiple places that need to settle that we need to settle. All right, so we do shrine. Three years. I think I need a lumber mill. I'm running out of wood. Don't want to sacrifice your scout. I'd rather not, if I could help it. Um. Come down here with my settler. We just want to go over here. Um, those are my only options, right? Everywhere else is I've already done. Yeah. Let's just go here for now and then we'll decide once we get down further. All right. So let's get the scout out of danger. Man, scouts can move far. <laughs> All right. So let's. No, choose production, Roma. Um, 
Oh, we could do Jewish disciples here much quicker. Yeah, so any disciples we do will be here, <laughs> not in that other city. We do another specialist. Get even more growth, more culture, <laughs> more food. Not that we need any more food. Yeah. Let's do a worker. Ostia treasury. Oh, I think we need a festival. That generates culture because we only got one culture right now. That's just not cutting it. Feels like the closer one is safer to get to the southern sea site. You get uncomfortably close to the Gauls. I do, but all my military is right there. Like by the time my settler gets there, those Gauls aren't going to be there. In theory. All right, court diplomats have been hard at work on discussions with representatives from both Syria and Persia, but they wish to focus their efforts. Which nation should they seek to influence, Syria or Persia? I mean, we're not really close to either. So we could send them some iron. Or, oh, we can endear ourselves to both because we're humble, apparently. We're both humble and terrifying somehow. All right, so where are the tribes? Gulls. Declare war. Proceed with war preparations. We are at war. All right, slinger. Slinger, sling. Oh, that's going to be... Look how close that is to killing them. That kind of sucked. <laughs> oh, you know what I should have done? I should have moved them there, attacked, and then came over to the other one. Oh, well. That's fine. I kind of want to join the attack with them, but I feel like they need to stay there. All right, so let's see if we can get the militia down here. Settlers already moved. That scout's already moved. All right, what about this scout? Can we get through here? It appears that we can. All right, that's it. That's all our moves. Um, yeah, I need to go get my water bottle. I'm super dry. So I will be right back. I have returned. All right, so what are we doing other than fighting gulls? Yeah, we're in second right now, but that's largely because we have a wonder. I'm not sure everybody else has a wonder. Yeah, so they get an attack because they stupid didn't die. All right, Duke Aulis takes the tactics training with an unbridled enthusiasm, especially combat drills, where he bests his opponent every time. Clearly, the instructors are the best in Rome. We may even consider promoting some of them. Or all of us can benefit from their wisdom. Tough, heckler, or swift. Or, ooh, a court soldier would be nice. Because we can make them a, a general, probably. Now that Duchess Plasia has completed her study of philosophy, how should she contribute to the court? Scholar. Oh, money. Uh, no, we're good on money now, so scholar. <laughs> no, no even thinking about it. All right, so... Finish them off with the slinger. Back there. All right. And a general. 
Yeah, 10% attack, minus 5% defense, 6 HP, 20% attack power of same use and adjacent, which we have. We will do that. Except we can't, because if you end a general, that's the only thing you can do that turn. So that's my bad. What's the quickest way? This way? This way, I guess. It seems to think. Man, this scout is a long way from home. <laughs> but I'm the only one who's scouted up here, right? So I'm getting a lot of legitimacy from finding the Sorkak Hisar Forest. I'm sure I majorly butchered that pronunciation. All right, so this scout can start heading over this way. Start clearing out some of that fog. Did I not build a second slinger at some point? I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Or maybe I was going to and I decided to make the forum instead? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. Speaking of technology. Oh, I still don't have the thing that lets me build barracks. Alright, the royal family of Persia visits the court. During a feast, Prince Darius the Compassionate makes a shocking boast about how much better a ruler he will be one day. King Cyrus chides him for his brashness and turns to us for support. So how old is he? He's 56. He's going to die soon. So I'm definitely going to suck up to the sun. Um, Cyrus is the laughing stock. Yeah. So Cyrus isn't going to like me, but that's fine. <laughs> As the head of the Jewish nation of Rome, it is expected that you adhere to the tenets and practices of the faith and be seen doing so. With religion being integrated so closely into daily social and cultural life, the priests remind you that a lack of faith only builds a distance between yourself and your subjects. I offer to teach you about their ways. Will you accept? All right, so I am now converted to Judaism. All right, so let's swing you up there. We'll be able to make one. Yeah, this would be a decent little city. Can we get this iron, I wonder? We can't get the iron. Close. But, I mean, we get horses. We get uh, elephants, both of which are nice. All right, so what do we do here? Oh, that was our iron mine. All right, so let's get some farms going now. Nice. Okay, next unit. Okay, so they just did... If I remember correctly, that was a uh, stone, right? Um, let's, uh, let's cut this scrub. Give us 10 wood. Just, you know, something to do. <laughs> Pasture. Man, our border's all the way out to this other city site. Like, this sheep would probably be better served to be in this city. Oh, well. All right, so let's uh, get some nets. Ooh, that's also money. Yeah, we're going to be so rich. <laughs> all right, let's get some farms going on this sour gum. So just me or did, like, all my, uh, <laughs> all my whatchamacallits, um, finish <laughs> all my builders workers whatever finished what they were doing this turn it felt like all right we are romulus de novo troops discover a series of barrel mounds outside the conquered gaelic camp uh, the contents are lavish and richly ornamented many in the ranks wish to loot the ancient site but some worry that such action would bring about dark omens so we would out tick off the galls but we don't care we're at war with them Ooh, plus one discipline. I mean, plus 32 gold per turn is more valuable than a flat 200 gold. Well, how old am I? It depends how old. Gonna be rich when your useless brother dies anyway. Yep. Comment held for review. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let that comment go. <laughs> Alright, so which way do we want to go first in our war? Man, I wonder how deep the Gauls go that way. All right, well, these guys need to heal. Okay, so they don't have a move. Um, actually, let's start bringing these militia down. We'll use the militia to hold the, the site. So militia are weaker than warriors. You're a problem child. I mean, going to be rich when your useless brother dies anyway is a pretty tame comment, all in all. Oh, the Gauls, they're just trying to take me off, converting to somebody else's religion. My wife still... Wait, how old is my wife now? 
I feel like we're both old to be having kids. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law has converted to Judaism. Welcome aboard, uh, Calpurnia. Welcome aboard. Letter arrived by Kuro from Duke Alice at the Academy to King Romulus the Noble. My tutors ordered me to write this letter to you. I have little time for you, but this must be done. Such disrespect. Um, he has completed the study of tactics. How shall he be contributed to the court? So he can be a hero, which is... Ooh, can heal a neutral territory as a general. That seems good. She is a champ, yeah. My wife, yeah. Or general blanking. Extra gold, but I don't I feel like I'm good for gold. Let's go with the let's go with the hero. Um doesn't really matter which one we go to here. It's just giving us extra mountains no matter where we go. Um Julius, I guess. Sure. All right, so let's do a worker. It's a long way to, to send a worker around, right? Is the ancient world kneeling before you? Well, the Gauls are going to be very soon, <laughs> if everything goes according to plan. Um, three years, I'll have forestry. I'm going to come over here and build a granary. So what a granary does... Never mind, I don't have enough wood. All right, let's buy some wood. And let's build a granary. So it's two, it's it's minus, it's one wood upkeep per turn. It's two growth per turn. But it also gives a 60% bonus to adjacent farms. So that means there's two farms adjacent. So they'll be getting each 1.8 growth and nine food. So this granary is worth um, over five growth and 18 food per turn. Right, which is last I checked, that's pretty good. And here, well, let's just go out here and chop some wood, and we'll be able to make our own lumber mill soon. It's not here. There's like no woods here, so let's go make an iron mine, I guess, or an ore mine, whatever. All right, so. Um, we want these dudes to heal, so let's bring them back. Good granary. Yeah, anytime you can get a granary that has two adjacent farms, it's it's pretty good. Slingers can come over here and start picking away these gulls. No? Oh, this is Carthage. Oh, that's why it's a different color. That's a Carthage unit, not a gull unit. God, I was, I was dumb. All right, so we got, wait, where's my son that's supposed to be a general? Maybe he doesn't become available till next turn. All right, so this swordsman is available to come kick some gull butt. Okay, that's a Carthage unit there. All right, we'll leave these two gulls. No, you know what, maybe I should, mm, maybe I should take out these ones first. Because these ones could potentially be taken by somebody else. I feel like nobody but me can get these, so I can leave these till later, right? In theory. All right, so that is it for this turn. Roma, let's make another settler. Man, we, 34 growth is pretty crazy. Um, all right, so we want to do... Why can't we do a specialist? Oh, we need another citizen, so four more years we'll get another specialist. Um, so let's do a festival for now. Decree gives us some orders and some civics. No, just some orders. We do No, we don't want to do a master shopkeeper because we want to save. Wait, why can we do a master shopkeeper but not a minor? Cost a citizen. Does this one not cost a citizen? Why was... Why... Hmm. Why does this one not cost a citizen? You know what I mean? Anyway, let's just do a festival. So that gives us some extra culture. We will have a, we'll have a citizen slot here soon. 
Have you uh, have you played this game before, Ro? I know you play Humankind. I know you play Civ, but I don't know if I've seen you play this. Princess Hortensia has lost some of her confidence and ability charm. She's lost charisma. So that's even less civics. That hurts, but it's not the end of the world. Another night of revels has come and gone. Oh, because my wife is drunk again. How old is she anyway? Yeah, 45. Well, she had the kid a couple of years ago, but that's still pretty old to have a kid, especially in the old days. Master shopkeeper upgrades the apprentice shopkeeper. Oh, so it doesn't, there's already the citizen. That makes sense. Um, she fills every evening with feasting, musicians, and wine from the country. We cannot sustain such expenses. Um, that gold must be used for other endeavors. Excuse me, so she becomes disappointed with me. Or I will speak to her about frugality. Could lead to future events. I have a feeling those events are not going to be good for me. All right, so let's move them. Move them this way. Okay, they can pop there. They can heal. Get the slinger over here. Yeah, I was, I was going to make a second slinger and I didn't. Okay, wait. I thought my son was now available to be... A hero. I thought he was a hero. Why can't I make him a general? That doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand. Um, all right. So we still never made a governor in our capital, have we? Probably should have done that a long time ago. Titus is who we were going to do, right? Because the minus two discontent. Our discontent will go up real slow. All right. Production here. Um, we do an extra miner. We do need four miner specialists, but I'm, I got one on the salt. Yeah, I'm going to do a miner specialist just because we need one for this ambition. I don't want to lose the ambition. Because you can. You can lose them. Um, do I want to move these units in now or do I want to wait? For support. And yeah, let's move them up a bit, I guess. And then let's move a scout. Onto this uh, goodie hut. Walking among the ruins, your explorers are struck by the carved remnants of what looks like distinctly Zoroastrianism religious art. The site has clearly been abandoned for a long time, since before Zoroastrianism. God, that's <laughs> that word is a mouthful. Was no. Is this a mere coincidence, a coincidence blah, or something much more than that? It must have come from a precursor. Hand the site over to it. Move the art to Ponce Alias and establish a shrine there. Carved art sounds like free stone to me. So we can get 160 stone. Zoroastrianism spreads. We don't really want to spread it. We already have our own religion. We get extra charisma. Ooh. Extra science. You know me. I'm a sucker for science. You're not going to see me say no to science very often. If ever. <laughs> oh, we're not... Yeah, we're not even working on this salt miner yet. Oh, we, that's where we were waiting. All right, so Persia is trying to take this encampment out. Why isn't he taking out the one closer to him? News arrives from Carthage. Queen Dido has died. I'm glad I sucked up to her daughter. Um, Persia's War of the Gulls. Yeah, we know that. Oh, Duke Remus finally did a good thing. He converted to Judaism. Um, Faustus has died. Oligarch Antonia is now head. Princess Arteja is now known to be robust. Okay. Extra orders, potentially, if she becomes leader. And she is my heir, so that's good. Duke Aulus has a new illegitimate daughter, Portia. Aulus, what have you been doing? Sneaking around. All right. Um, Queen Dido has died. Queen Amber has ascended to the throne. 20 XP. I will take it. Port merchants have arrived from Carthage with an offer for trade. The believer nations would grow and prosper from improved trade relations. We will trade wood for civics. Minus 26 wood for 40 years. Yeah, we can't really be doing that. Trade wood for additional training. For now, be for I can't afford to be trading wood. 
What is like the one thing I can't afford to trade? Like illicit affair. Yeah. The Duke is cooler now. I just wish I could. I don't know why I won't let me make him a, uh, a general. Oh, well. All right. During the closing days of the festival in Ostia, the captain of the city watch uh, arrested and detained a trio of vandal children for petty fevery. This is not something that would normally warrant your attention, but when the parents attempted to get their children back, the situation escalated. Although no one was killed, blood was spilled. And now the situation has reached a boiling point with the captain of the watch threatening to execute the children to send a message to the vandals. Oh, God. This is not good. While many of the citizens of Ossia support this action, there are others who are horrified by the prospect, which is how you became aware of the issue. Don't get involved. Let him do it. So, hey, we get less discontent, but the vandals hate us. Not surprisingly. I'd rather not be at war with two tribes at the same time. Intervene and ransom the children back to their parents. Yeah, it's gold. I don't want to do this one because I don't want to give discontent. Yeah, let's ransom the children. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> um, all right, let's go build a uh, ooh, 11.5 stone quarry. Yes, please. Uh, speaking of Ostia, build another firm. All right, well, obviously we're going to attack this turn. So they appear to be posturing to attack me. And we should be able to get in with the slinger and finish it off. With very little damage taken. But, I mean, he still has more units. But he's going to take this one. So, that's just going to disrupt everything. But if he's separated, right? Like, if I could eventually go to war with him and take this stuff from him, right? Who threatens to kill kids? Yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, you got to remember, this is the old world. And they're, like, they're vandal kids, right? They probably don't even view them as human, right? I guess. I don't know. All right, so here's the corner of the map. We at least know partially where the edges of the map are. Has everybody else moved? I guess so. Yeah, we still, we still haven't settled here. I got to build some more military. If he takes that gall camp, does he automatically get a city there? He needs a settler. Like, he needs to park a military unit there and then bring a settler. Because if he doesn't park a military unit, I can just put my own settler, right? But he'll he'll camp a military unit there. I'm assuming he has enough. Yeah, that's like a level three. The slinger's been promoted three times. And this symbol down in the corner means they both have generals. So, yeah. He has enough to take them. All right. Minor specialist, which is what we need for this ambition. And here. All right. Yeah, I've been slacking on my military. Like, if I go to war with Cyrus now, it won't be good. I do not have enough military for it. I need to I need to beef up my military considerably. I almost have 2,000 stockpile, or training stockpile, though. Tribal raid from a Gaelic outpost in there, a Scrivium. Yeah, so they're going to... Okay, I'm going to take the barracks. So if you look... This thing is going to attack this city. So, I, again, I need more military. Um, oh, where do we want this builder to go? Oh, he wants us to build another wonder. We need gold. Or we need a bunch of uh, gold for that. The oracle. Hold alt to buy. Oh, wow. That's like all of our gold. But it's a wonder. Wait, there we go. Oh, hold alt. <laughs> I was holding not alt. <laughs> Wait, still didn't work. All right, so what do we need? We need 400 stone. All right, let's just buy 400 stone. That was all of our gold, though. There we go. Wait, it's still not letting me do it. Why does it not let me do it? All right, let's go next unit. Is it out of moves? No, it still has moves. Somebody else start building it this turn as well, and now I can't, maybe? Can I build it up here?
Oh, okay, well, let me. Can you only have one wonder per city, maybe? I honestly don't know. All right, so let's just get an iron mine because he's standing on a hill already. All right, settler. Uh, let's just go to the close one here. Get this over with. And next unit. Got a beefy swordsman here, or warrior. I guess it's not a swordsman per se. Whoops. <laughs> uh, crap. So I just wasted a turn there. Awesome. Good job. Good job, Looch. That's fine. It's, I mean, it's not, not really going to hurt us. You can stay there. You're guarding that. Um, you can come down here. Attack. No, we're out of moves. We're out of orders. We're out of orders, Looch. Don't even bother trying. All right. And one more settler for the road. Um, the time to kill. During a discussion about how to deal with Hattie, you make it clear that you wish someone would rid you of this, this turbulent is to pariah. Unexpectedly, everyone is in agreement and soon practical matters are being hammered out. The only question which remains is should we focus on stealth or speed? The sooner she's dead, the better. Let's try to remain undetected. I spoke in haste, say no more about this. Let's try to remain undetected. So we're trying to assassinate the leader of another uh, empire. What could possibly go wrong there, right? <laughs> Everything. Oh, that went down the wrong hole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, he's taking out this one, too. Oh, and she's taking out. They're taking away all my gall encampments. These jerk AIs. Oh, I can. Oh, my God. I still can't breathe. <clears throat> Oligarch Antonia, the commander, meets with you to discuss court matters. She's the leader of the family, I think, right? Yes. Oh, as she's recently taken up the mantle of family head of the, <laughs> excuse me, the Fabi in the wake of Fossus' death. She converses with you on various issues as you stroll through the palace garden until finally getting to the heart of the matter. My predecessor, God rest his soul, was non committal about your relationship. Based upon all the correspondence I read, I came here to see for myself what kind of person you are. I can't really. I don't really have an option. I got to just, she's jealous, which is probably, probably less than ideal. Um, let's go champions here. Sure. Um, do we want to do another mine here? Wait, I thought I told them to do a mine last turn. Didn't I? Was I out of orders, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that was this was my person that made a granary. I am now capable of making lumber mills, though. But unfortunately, <laughs> there's not a lot of trees around here. This is a tree, though. So let's go over here. Lumber mill plus eight. That will be good since we are down to twenty-two wood. And we're getting minus three per turn. Um. We can't make a lumber mill here, but we can cut some trees. The trees do grow back eventually. All right, so let's uh, hit it with that. Hit it there. Hit it there. All right, so we we have this one. In an act of supplication, the surviving Gallic nobles offer you a wealth of jewelry, fineries, 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 and icons representing their culture. As conqueror, you're expected to wear this traditional raiment. Our generals grumble behind your back, but there is wisdom in appealing to the newly vanquished. I will not be tainted by the savages. These prizes are mine by right and rule. Put these treasures in our nation's coffers. I'll take the legitimacy. All right, so they can chill. All right, so let's bring these guys back closer so they can heal. Yeah, the AI is being annoying. Taking all my city sites. I did not expect everybody to attack the gulls at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Obviously, there's going to be a war eventually, I would say. Um, 
Ooh, what city? What the, or sorry, what family do we have here? Can we tell? We have landowners, right. So we want, uh, let's get a farmer there. AI being annoying? Say it ain't so. Yeah, eventually famous last words. Yeah, it's true. All right, let's get a worker here. And here. Eventually we need to connect all these cities too. All right, so we only need one more city for our ambition. So yeah, Pers is taking this one. Pers is taking that one. Carthage is taking the other one. So I thought I had all these potential city sites to myself. It appears that is not going to be the case. Unfortunately. All right, I completed my ambition stockpile 2,000 training. So it's 10 legitimacy. We're at 2 of 10 ambitions. And again, if you get all 10 ambitions, you win. Um, I am now severely ill. That's less than ideal. Hostile forces, both familiar and unknown, lie in Rome's borders with their sharp and menacing edges. You were no fool to the danger, however, and have been studying your enemy's movements, making preparations. What is the next step? Run military drills. Um, control two max level units, melee and ranged. We have a ton of training. We might be able to do this. I've never done this one before, though, so I don't know... I don't know what max level is. Point generals to lead our forces. So we need two of eight. No, we do not have eight available generals. Um, control two has stati. All right, so that's like our special unit. What ha what do we need to make the stati though? So we need oh we need a stronghold. That's it. We just need a stronghold. Oh, we can do that. We can do that one. It's only two. That seems not that bad. Fire in the market. Uh-oh. A man in the Scribian market has been arrested for inciting the public. His crime? After building a major blaze, he proceeded to recite from his holy teachings, the Yasna. This is not the first instance of this kind. We grow intrigued by these followers of Zoroaster. No, we don't want Zoroastrianism. We want two militia? I don't really want two militia either. Ooh, we want discipline though. Although it's discipline for me, and I'm probably going to die. You hate to see it, exactly. There's a little Scotty dog out back at the bar next to my place drinking a beer. The dog is drinking a beer? Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> the War of the Gauls has gone on long enough. I disagree. You may wish to consider peace. Our spies report that one of the Gaelic warlords seeks mates for his sons. A match with your heir may be the solution all of our own. No, I want... I mean, I don't want peace. Oh, he has five wisdom, though. But minus three courage. I don't want peace. A delegation from Syria arrives with a marriage proposal for your son, Duke Alice. The man who already has an illegitimate son. <laughs> Tashma too. She has three charisma. Not bad. Um, can she be a general? No. Um, she has wisdom, but minus charisma and minus courage. I mean, the wisdom is nice, but... Um, three charisma is nice because it gives us extra civics, which we do not have... We do not make a ton of civics right now, honestly. We could use some more civics for sure. Um, we can't go on the grove yet so let's go over to the here and make a lumber mill um next unit okay they just cut down tree so also let's come over here and make a lumber mill so i think lumber mill um plus 10 percent per adjacent lumber mill plus 20 percent per adjacent camp plus 100 percent per adjacent mill class improvement um and 60 percent if they're next to a river Fortunately, none of these are next to a river. Um, do we have any trees next to a river? Like, anywhere? <laughs> Looks like... Oh, this one's eight. Oh, that one's next to a river. All right. Well, there we go. Plus eight lumber mill. Let's go. Let's do this. Um, all right. So, we own this square. So, let's... Uh, actually, where's our scout? Let's use our scout to scout. <laughs> Lake Ermia. This port, this scout has not moved in a long time. 
We're too busy doing wars and stuff. There's a lot of Danes up here, man. <laughs> Alright, well, let's start swinging our military back that way, I guess. To potentially take out more Gauls. So we got a settler coming. We got, what, two spots down here? So should I do another settler? Or should I wait a bit? Romulus the Magnificent. Unfortunately, though, I'm going to die soon. Yeah. Your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs in order. Okay. You've completed an ambition. Control four minor specialists. Yay. Plus 10 legitimacy. So when I die, I lose half my legitimacy, I think. So I lose a bunch of legitimacy when I die, though. I forget how much. All right. Um, Potty has converted to Judaism. My son, my six-year-old son has died. Yep, the dog is drinking out of a pine glass that the owner has clearly forgotten about. Man, um, I know it's eight years, but I'm going to go with the Grove and the Camel Archer and War Elephant. Although this archive, this is science. Yeah, I'm going to do the metaphysics. I'm going to do the science. Such a sucker for science. Next unit. Um, pasture first. Well, let's let's get the let's get a big another big quarry, because I mean, almost all the wonders need a ton of stone, right? Poor kiddo, Rip. Yeah, I mean, I'm about to die too, but <laughs> that's rough. All right, I just wanted to see what was down there. Um, you can come over here. Wait, where did I take damage here? Am I at war with... No. There's no Gaul units. That's a Carthage unit. Where did this Slinger take damage? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm an old dude. <laughs> I'm about to die to the casual and the senior tone. <laughs> well, not me, me. Game of me, right? And it just means my air takes over. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I, I was pretty casual about it, though, right? Hey, I'm about to die. Whatevs. You know, how much legitimacy do I lose? That's my only concern, is how much legitimacy I lose. Um. Yeah, let's move this scout again. This poor scout, way up north all by himself, barely gets to do anything. Oh, there's so many Danes. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. And there's probably more in the fog. <laughs> yeah, I'm role-playing the immersion, but damn. Yeah, I'm, it's cold. Well, at least I'm cold towards myself dying, not somebody else dying. Right? All right, let's do, a, let's do another settler because we have two spots. I want to get those down. It's like you're talking about the war crimes committed in, in RimWorld. Casual AF. Yeah, RimWorld's... Ooh, RimWorld's a whole other... <laughs> whole other ball game master shopkeeper plus three signs per year that seems good Ooh, some of these are good though too forum to treasury to yeah let's do the master shopkeeper um do, do, do farmer slinger this is this is her our military building city. Finally get another slinger. Dark waters. During a swim in the river. Oh, he died swimming. I would oh, I would hate to drown. I know some people say, oh, drowning would be so peaceful. How is that peaceful? Like I'd be just trying to not drown. It'd be terrible. Anyway. Enough about dying and drowning. It's not exactly a pleasant topic. Um Anyway, our son is overcome by powerful current and swept beneath the surface. By our time our servants pull him out, he's already dead. I will address the people about this tragedy. So we, we become mourning. I mean, we're about to die, so it's fine. We get an extra courage, but we lose orders. Well, we're mourning either way, I guess. Doesn't really matter. 
as you start playing room world again peaceful i've actually almost drowned before the burning sensations getting your lungs is anyway peaceful. well that's what i imagine i guess it's better than burning to death maybe i don't know i don't want to drown though but yeah there was a a, a, a like a teenager drowned i mean this would be like 20 years ago now or more um he's he was like six years younger than me but it it affected people in town. this is a small town right and i remember people saying that old drowning be peaceful and i'm just like what are you talking about anyway uh what are we doing here end year our turn is done the new ideology stuff is fantastic so yes you should oh for rim world I should probably play RimWorld. That's another game that people have suggested to me. And I mean, I, I've played RimWorld. I'm not like a RimWorld pro by any stretch. But I, I think I have over 100 hours played in RimWorld, which I know is those are rookie numbers. Got to pick those numbers up, right? Whatever. But let me just, uh, where the heck's my Steam here? I'm just all tabbing. RimWorld. 135 hours. So, you know, I've played some RimWorld. All right, so I died. So I have 20 turns to control seven cities. That's going to be done really soon. I have 20 turns to control two Histati. That's going to be a little harder. Um, Syria is now war with the Vandals. Reports of a tribal raid from a Vandal outpost. Wait, we're not at war with the Vandals. Why would we have a tribal raid? Yeah, you can have me on Steam. Let me uh, Give me a sec here. Um, just trying to remember how do I find my friends or my, 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 uh, uh, give me, bear with me. There it is. Are you on, are you on my discord one war gamer? All right, uh, all right. King Ramos has died. We meet his passing with hushed voices and heavy hearts, very heavy hearts. Prepare the way for Queen Hortensia, the new heir to the throne of Rome. I am. All right, let me, uh, I will DM you my Steam friend code. Are you called One War Gamer or something similar on there? Something that I can find. Your coronation brings delegations from all across Rome. These subjects have brought a selection of fine gifts from their home villages. However, the visitors stipulate that they will only give their gifts if they'll be used in great royal works. What gifts should we accept? Yeah, just DM me on, on Discord and I'll I'll give you my, my thing. All right, so 60 stone, 200 civics. That's pretty good. Steel, we get a free warrior. Ooh, science and wood. Kill them and take everything. No, we're going to take the science and wood. That's five turns worth of science. That's no joke. All right, I just uh, replied to you on Discord there with my Steam friend code. Syria contacts you with an intriguing proposal. If you'd be willing to pair it with some of your luxuries, they'll happily round out your court with either a talented trader or minister. You can, we can certainly see our way clear to do that if it means adding a new merchant to the court. Oh, so we give away our salt because we, we now have salt. We got that luxury because we got a, we built a, a specialist on the salt mine, right? We would happily make that trade for a new minister. Um, let's go for... Do we need more money? I think we might need a new minister. Keep our luxuries? No, we'll, we'll give you our luxury. Samu Ramat. Ooh. Some global science and some global civics. Welcome, Samu Ramat. Let's try to choose our next ambition. What shall be the future direction of Rome? Control two max level units. I'm not sure how hard that is. Control 100 population. We're at a citizens plus specialist. We're only at 16 of 100. I feel like that's a long ways away. Maintain eight governors. No. Let's try for the max level units. All right, um, you are coming down this way. You can heal. You, all right, so promote you. 
focus. And we can't promote you again because we already promoted you once. Promote you. Combat one. Promote you. Free free promotion because they did so much. Then we can promote you again. Focus two. Tough. Plus 10% if damaged. 25% from trees. Plus 25 versus siege and ship units. Or focus, which gives extra crit chance. Let's go. Let's go tough. So I should be just focusing on like two units, right? Probably. So we can get them to max. Um, where's this? This gives down by Persia. I wonder how long it's going to take them to get scouts down there. All right, choose production. Well, we already have a worker here. How do I already have a worker here? Did I make a worker here? <laughs> I must have, I guess. All right, so let's do a forum. Um, ooh, and I'll probably do an archive. That's extra science. Extra science is good, right? Or we could do another farmer. Let's do the science. Let's do the archive. All right, we got a free builder here. I feel like I need. I feel like I still need more stone. Yeah, just add me when you're able. I'll I'll accept. Like I I have some reason not to accept. Um. I don't think I can build another granary. No, you max granary per one culture level. So we can build another granary. So that'll boost up both of those farms. Oh, you know what? I, mm, I should have done something different than what I did. Oh, well. That's fine. Plus nine quarry. Don't mind if I do. Got one order left. Who's it going to be? Not you, that's for sure. Wait, did I really... Do I really have an uh, order left over? All right, we've been putting off divination. I'm still going to put it off. <laughs> I want the Byreen. I want to be able to get in the water here because I, I'm, I got to assume there's a, a still a fair touch of map down south here. And maybe there's not, maybe I'm wrong, but, oh, we got a raiding party, but we're building a military unit there. All right. You must be wary of walking this world on. Oh, I'm not married. The matchmaker suggests that this is time to seek a suitable partner to help you rule. All right. So we could go with a vandal suitor. Negative wisdom though. That's just a no. Julius, also negative wisdom. Or Persia. Ugh. Minus discipline. I don't want any minus disciplines. Um, you could be a general. Yeah, let's go with... Let's make the Julius happy. Although Rome is no state religion... What are you talking about? We have... I thought Jew, AIDS, Judaism was my state religion. Wasn't it? Didn't I make that my state religion? Thought I did. I feel like I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, landowners, champions. I mean, landowners is really only good if there's crop resources, which there's not here. So let's go statesman, I guess. Um, all right. What's this worker up to? Ooh, I bet this is a good, yeah, eleven quarry. Sign me up for that. Um, where's the slinger? Right, so let's promote this slinger. Combat again. Okay, you can come over this way. You okay? We've already leveled this one up twice, so let's level it up again. I'm not sure what max level is, but we'll find out. Heckler. Well, it's 25% versus generals. Amphibious. Extra defense. Infantry units. Let's go with the extra defense. Okay, so we still got to promote them again. So that's that's not max level. We know that much. All right, maybe we can get ahead of them and maybe get these two cities at the end at least. Wait, are they at war with each other? Persia and Carthage? How do I tell that? Man, nobody really likes me except Asher Ban and not my pal. Apparently he is my pal, though. Um, 
yeah, no, they're not at war with each other. But it looks like they're at war. Like, it looks like they're fighting each other down there. But obviously they're not. All right, choose production. Do we want to make our own worker? Yeah, it's only four turns. We'll make our own worker here. Up here. This is... Just a random city. Like, it's not a... I don't think it's a landowner city. And I don't think it's a military-based city. So we'll just start a forum. Which will make all the projects easier. Like, does it not look like they're fighting each other right there? Like, right here? My mother has died. My mother the drunk. Just like real life. Except in real life, my mother's still alive. Fortunately. Alright, let's go this way. Um, Let's make a pasture. Okay, so we just finished the lumber mill here. Hey, we're making 18 wood per turn all of a sudden. Um, yeah, so garrison. We need to get a garrison. So that we can get two histatis. Right? Because once we have a garrison, we can make histatis. I think. No, it's here that we want to have a garrison. Crap. <laughs> Why can't we do... Oh, we need stone. Man, we're making 49 stone per turn and we still don't have enough to do what I need to do. That's crazy. I guess you burn through a lot of stone. Um, so do I need to make... Do I need to make even more? What's McCallits, apparently? Um, granary. There's only one farm there, though. But, I mean, I could add a second farm, I guess. But farms... Farms without crops... Like just a normal farm, all it gives is food. It doesn't give growth. And food by itself, I mean, food's kind of whatever, right? You really want the growth. Um, I mean, I guess I can make another lumber mill. For lack of anything else that's super snazzy. All right, um, we're going to promote these folks. All right, that I believe is max level. Yes. All right. So we just need to get our slinger to max level now. All right. So this one actually isn't too hard. Combat three. Because we'll be able to do that next turn. So that'll be this ambition done. So we'll be at five. Yeah. You need a stronghold for the city. Yeah. 100%. Which is what I'm doing, right? Aren't I? <laughs> no, Garrison, you're right. I need a stronghold. How do I make a stronghold? Um, oh, it requires four active laws, so we're not going to get this ambition. Probably. Yeah, I got Stronghold and Garrison mixed up. That's on me. All right, let's take out these raiders. And let's make... Why can't I make a slinger? Oh, yeah, I'm out of stone. <laughs> Back in 10. All right, I should still be streaming to 10, but not much past that. Uh, let's down here. Not much. Next unit. No point. Next unit. All right. Roma. Roma Invictus. Um. All right. So I have a settler headed down that way, don't I? Yeah. So I don't need. So let's make a worker. No. Let's make a disciple. Let's start spreading my sp spreading. Let's start spreading my religion around. I thought it was my state religion already. Apparently it's not. I don't know why I check religions. I forget how to check religions. <laughs> Syria is now at truce with the Danes. The shadow of the mighty Carthaginian army has loomed over heads for years and now it descends on Rome at last. 
War ambassadors from Carthage have come with an ultimatum. Must agree to their terms or face the consequences. So we got to give them minus 43 iron per turn. Or go to war. Uh, how many units does he have on my border? He's far away, but like... He has units. Like he has multiple units close. Where are my units? Yeah. I guess I could bring these ones back. I have 27 orders. Yeah, no, I'm... Screw you, Carthage. <laughs> I'm not going to just sit back and take that. All right, well, let's... Yeah, let's bring everybody back. Let's start hitting these Carthaginians. Hey... You brought this on yourself, Carthage. This was not my idea, just for the record. This was your idea. They declare war on me, for the record. And yeah, I could have given them a lot of iron. But that's a lot of iron. Screw them. I'm not going to sit there and take that. No. Absolutely not. Screw you. <laughs> Mount Hassan. Oh, and a goodie hunt. Increase the treasury. Send it to our troops. Study the craftsmanship. Let's send it to our troops. So we are <laughs> we are at war. Um which one do we want to hit? Yeah, let's hit the ranged unit. Now, Militia aren't very good, so I don't expect much. I think we've done... Yeah, we've moved all our military. Um, Where can this worker go? I guess I could start... Start making some roads. I could start connecting some cities. So if you go here, and you go to add road... You can add an urban? I didn't know you could just add an urban... Did not realize that. Um, so for add road, if you if you hold control R, it goes in road two mode. So if you go like this, um, then left click, so it will build a road every turn until the road is done, which is pretty cool. Or I think it's pretty cool anyway. Oh, we're out of borders there. Crap. Um, I think I need to build an extra military here, just because this is a border town. And you know, um, what's her face there wants to wants to. Well, she wants to be a cunt. Queen Amber wants to. Remember when I sucked up to her too, and she still like was like, no, I'm gonna declare war on you because I suck. I'm the big suck. Stupid raiders. Ports of a tribal raid from the Vandal outpost. We will keep slaves. No, we will not keep slaves. Our subjects will be free. Hey, Trunix, how you doing? Now. Oh, let's attack there. That attack seems to be good for us. Um, let's wipe them out. Yeah, how's this war going for you so far, Carthage? Jerk. Like, completely unprovoked. Just declares war on me. And, like, I even sucked up to them. And they were still like, eh, I'm going to declare war on you because I suck. Like, come on. All right, so is that all of them? All right, so I am going to go heal. And, oh, we can heal out in the borderlands with this unit. Or the borderlands in neutral territory. Ah, they're pushing. They're pushing to take all these Gauls. I mean, I could declare war on Persia and take out. They just have one partially dead unit in each city, right? And they're kind of separated. But like, if I wasn't already at war with them, I would go to war with them and just take them out bit by bit. But that's not, I don't think, a good option because we're already at war with one other AI, right? 
More Danes. There's so many Danes. So many Danes. Oh, there's another Carthage unit. Probably going to attack my poor little scout. Like the big dumb jerk there. We could do an Elder Shopkeeper. Or we could do an archive or a festival. Or a military unit might be a good idea. Another slinger. Yeah, just to be safe. I feel like that's a good idea. Up here, let's do a farmer. Sure. Expand those borders a little bit as well. Is always a good idea. Yeah, we are not going to get this ambition done, which sucks. Uh-oh. I do not have any defense up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Holy crap, she has a lot of units. Yeah, the AI builds a ton of units. Stupid raiders up here is not helping either. All right, Calpurnia the Younger. Ah, she made it to 66. She's dead. Um, Aulus, my brother, is now head of the Claudius family, and he's also converted to Judaism. Cool. Spearman. Free, oh, free court scholar is so nice. Gives so much science. But Spearman. I am at war. I think I need to take the phalanx. I kind of hate that I have to take it, but I feel like I have to take it. This war is not going well. I should not have turned around these units. That was a mistake. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, well, we have a slinger coming in five years. Might be a touch late. All right, we got a swordsman up here, but how long is it going to take to get down here? Like two turns least three turns at least no we can start moving this unit up that way yeah i don't know could be uh this could be not good for my long term <laughs> gameplay but i mean it is almost end of stream time Anyway, all right, let's get the scout the heck out of Dodge. We can use it for bait here. So my scouts are only marginally useful at this point, right? Like they're, um, I can do a militia in one turn. Do a rancher, another farmer. We have, I should probably get some of these buildings on the go here. <laughs> um, Six turns for a warrior. Three years for a warrior. But unfortunately, this city is a long ways away from the front of where the war is, right? Which is problematic. Yeah, they're trying to take out my city. They're going to take out my city unless I can get some units up there. I mean, I have units on their way, but... As the enemy des descends upon Taraco, Semu Ramat, the minister, approaches you with suggestions. He proposes that the prisons of Taraco should be emptied, the prisoners conscripted in the army. It wouldn't be trained, but it would be an effective way of bolstering. Game to militia? Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> in surprise piece of news, you receive an update from your relative Duke Quintin. Duke Quintus. Uh, Academy scholars respect him, and the other students compete to befriend him. He's thriving. Encourage him towards scholarship. Ooh, well, the affable is nice, too. No, science. I can never say no to science. All right, settler is not that important right now. We need military. How goes Gen 2? Okay. This war is not going great, stupid Carthage. Other than that, although that I feel a little better now. Um, attack! I can't really attack with them because I'll be moving them off the city tile. Can we sneak a settler in? Get the city up. 
Yeah, all right, so now I can move. Now I can move the swordsman. All right, the war's going much better all of a sudden. I'm feeling much better about my chances. Oh, and look at you. You can get in there and attack as well. Nice. And you can attack there. Okay, they're dead, so now they can heal up, which is good because they're almost dead. Um, let's continue moving them down to where the war front is. I have zero units, zero orders left to move my scouts. Byrene. Now let's make a worker. Osseus. Osseus. Um, stone cutter, woodworker. Archive. Extra science. No, we need a festival. We're making no culture here whatsoever. We need to do multiple festivals in a row. Start generating some culture. The city kind of sucks. Because <laughs> in culture, at least. Where are you going? Why are you running? I thought you wanted to do a war. What's wrong? Are you scared? Duke Remus is severely ill. Oh, no, not stupid Remus. Go away, Remus. Suffering from a high fever and constant shaking, leaving him barely able to walk. Good. Stupid, useless brother. Seeking to improve relations. Estabria, Queen of Hattie, arrives to address the court. Okay, I should probably suck up to them because I'm already at war on that side. Or, well, <laughs> on the southwest side. I don't need a war in the east as well. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to piss off my families. Which I have good relations with, so it's fine. To suck up to her, I think that's the play. I think that's the right play. Alright, so let's get a... Can I do a stronghold? No, I need four active laws, and I need a developing culture. So yeah, so I'm not getting this ambition for two Hestades. That's not happening. So let's do a barracks. So we'll really be able to kick out military fast there. All right, so let's get some nets going. Culture. And uh, whatchamacallit. All right. You come down here. Um, Sorry, down here. <laughs> Take out that unit before anything bad happens. All right. You can heal. You can heal. So they have another unit coming in down there. Um, where did the, oh, there it is. Wow. That went far. I should probably not be chasing it. All right. We got some raiders coming in. So let's, uh, let's get to these stupid militia. We don't care about the militia, right? Relative to our other units. <laughs> oh, I need to level up. Where's my other? Need to promote this unit, and then I'll have this done. Next turn. Remind me to promote that unit next turn. Um, let's just kind of come in the middle. You can come in here. I have one move left for my scouts. All right. Um, treasury, festival. Yeah, yeah, don't really need a festival here. Culture's decent. Well, they're going to hit level two. Yeah, let's do a festival. Excuse me. Keep that uh, discontent level down. But I mean, I'm in first. I've got four of my ambitions done, soon to be five. This is a, like this game's going fairly well overall. I think. But I don't really know. I've only. I tend to like play for a bit and then something goes wrong and I just give up. <laughs> I am known as Hortensia the Able. Princess Consort, embarrassing the naturalist. Persia is now head of Zoroastrianism. Okay, that's fine. Course of a tribal raid, another tribal raid. So I need to like apparently take out all these vandals. Christianity founded. Wait, that's my town. I don't want Christianity. I already have Judaism. We completed the Oracle. Duke Remus has died. Good, finally, my stupid, useless brother. Um, King, my husband, 
is afflicted by nigh constant vomiting and diarrhea. Awesome. All right. Judaism holds sway in Rome, but is no longer uncontested. A new branch of Judaism has been rapidly gaining popularity in Pons alias, offering a route of salvation through their Messiah, Jesus Christ. The start of the small gatherings in the streets and near the temples is rapidly organized and grown into its own religion. Just put them on a cross. That will solve all our problems. Your advisors come to you with a warning. Sorry, that's a terrible joke. I, <laughs> I apologize. Because I probably, I probably insulted somebody there. So I, I'm sorry. Um, a second religion has the potential to create divisions within the court. However, building up Christianity could bring further culture and wisdom to Rome. Yeah, you know what? Let's help it to grow. Why not? It is done. To pagan Romans, the oracle of Pons Aelius is the center of the world. The temple area is built in the slopes of a sacred mountain, a site where they believe a god slew the gargantuan snake python. Now priestesses, the Pythia, inhale smoke and divine prophecies from their god, answering the questions of supplicants. The sacred way that leads up the mountain is adorned with displays of art and wealth as the families compete to show their dedication and wealth. This sacred site will stand as a testament to our people for all time, a symbol of our accomplishments today, and the glories yet to come. The oracle finished. My legacy will endure. Now I'm really in first. As the war with characters stretches on, everything and everyone is affected by the fighting. Duke Quintus approaches you after a long day of intense studies. He argues that his current studies are a waste of time and begs to learn tactics instead to learn how to fight against the Carthaginian threats. We will need strong generals. Yeah, let's. We can switch to that. That's fine. Um. Another quarry. What do we got for a quarry here? Nine. Nine's a pretty decent quarry. Um. Let's build a camp here. Get another half order. Which is always good. Okay, you can come down. Attack these raiders. Militia should be able to finish them off. This militia can hit these raiders. Oh, yeah, let's hit the Carthaginians because they're jerks and they hate them and they suck. Okay, let's promote this unit. Warden um, from Urban, Highlander from Hill. Let's just go with Focus. There's another ambition done 5 of 10, plus 10 legitimacy. Nice. Come down. Let's take out these stupid skirmishers. Numerius is the general of warrior and a court soldier. Upgrade to tracker. Gets plus three vision, plus one reveal. Okay, or horsebane, plus 25 versus mounted, or wisdom. Gives some science and gives some crit chance. Let's go with wisdom. Um, let's heal them up again. Uh, let's start bringing this unit down towards the front. Um, let's head down this way. You can heal. And we got three orders left to move my scout. Hey, found a goodie hut. This village has only recently been sacked. And we discovered a band of survivors huddled in its ruins. These destitute refugees seem eager to abandon the wreckage of their old lives and join our nation, but they are strangers to our culture. What will you do with them? Invite them to resettle in our nation or recruit them as hardened explorers? So that give, this one gives us a worker, which is nice, or an extra scout. I don't think I need an extra scout. An extra worker would be nice, though. Oh, it's way over here, though. <laughs> All right, well, I guess the worker can <laughs> slowly make its way. Back towards town. Um, I just wasn't expecting it to be way up there. Oh my god, I, I have like four workers. Five, eight million workers just twiddling their thumbs right now. Um, Alright, wow, we can, can we can make units fast here. Another slinger. And here. Alright, and I just realized it's, uh, it's 10 o'clock. Or 10 o'clock my time. So that's going to do it for stream. Um, I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to put a poll up for tomorrow evening stream. During the afternoon, I'm going to stream Mad Games Tycoon 2. But for the evening stream, the options are either going to be continue this save file, uh, play this game again, but start fresh with all the extra knowledge we have now, 
or humankind. So I'm going to put a poll up. Let me know what you want to see tomorrow night. But thanks for coming out tonight, everyone. It was fun. I enjoyed this. This is a fun game. It's a fun game to stream, right? Because there's always something going on. There's always something to talk about. Um, I enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, consider supporting me on Patreon. It'd be greatly appreciated. I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to make enough money <laughs> to live here. Um, links in the description down below to that. But hey, most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. See you, one war gamer, and everybody else. Peace. Or war, you know, whatever. <laughs> bye, Lee. Anybody else? Okay, bye, everybody.